good, bro. Okay, James. Hey. So, man, the final word coming at y'all two times this week with a whole new crew. We done fired law. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no well, of course we did not. <laughs> What's up, fellas? What's up, man? The people be wanting to see us. Law calling in. <laughs> I know Law gonna call like, hey, man, what you be? Yeah, big dog. And remember, you are this now. Yeah, man. <laughs> big. What's up, man? Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you the, fine, dog. I feel the roof for the softest team to leave. Oh, baby, I'm gonna some orange juice. So, word on the street is there's some talking going on. It's been talked all day. A lot of chirping, bro. Yeah, some chirping. So, we go. To oh, the we love the chirping. Yeah, yeah we love it. And they jumping on there like, oh, ooh, I can't wait. They See, that's all we needed, y'all. That's all. Yeah. We was already chirping. I needed a player to chirp. All them, all the right. media been chirping. All the fans been chirping. I needed yeah, a man. player to chirp. And what better person to chirp is the person that we're gonna be talking about tonight with the matchup. I'm telling Ooh, you now, it's right. fate. It's fate. You're gonna get your head beat in now. Who's already? Right. Now you just awaken the bear. Right. Hey, hey yeah. Cause hey. He made some noise. When you make some noise, you got to back it up now. Hey, hey it, right. it's some straight up bulletin board material all week. Mm. Nah, but I, 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 was, yeah. I wanted I somebody to get on a Tyron Pipskin. You wanted somebody to get on that ooey ooey big dog? Now I feel like Ty Smith, he, he, he seems so mild mannered. I want somebody to disrespect him. Right, right, right. Now, say, now, now it's different. He, he ain't gonna say nothing, but he gonna do something. Say, I ain't gonna so. lie. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. Hit him with that, that big old big old Jack's arm. Hey, real real quick. Hey man, that thumbnail look dope, bro. Ooh, that look like a super <laughs> team right there, boy. You, <laughs> y'all let us know Cowboy if y'all want to see more of this. <laughs> y'all let people. Y'all let us know if y'all want to see the two killers. <laughs> In the final world, uh, they built it to the show now, dog. Me and Tucky yes. called ourselves a tag team champ. I see with the pressure. That, that, I yeah, see look, with the pressure. Well, y'all big, y'all big like the tag team champ, so you might as well go with it. Hey, we're the new Harlem Heat around here, man. You know, yeah, man, we there you go. Man, we started the straight show. tag team. Hey, y'all be coming, y'all be coming like this. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> All right. So first, what's hey, up look, with the pressure bro, shirts? On channels no more. Say, what's up with the pressure shirts, man? Y'all got to explain the pressure shirts, man. What's up with the pressure oh, I mean, shirts? I mean, well, let me go. Ahead, let me go ahead and show y'all the drip, man. You know what I'm saying? You can go to CowboysFansOnly.com. Pressure is a privilege. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I need to and, get uh, one of And I mean, I just, I just, you know, heard Dak Prescott's interview today, and I was kind of listening. He's talking about pressure is a privilege again, man. So I'm just in that mood, like. A lot of people want to apply this pressure of the playoffs on Dak Prescott. I'm ready to go. I believe in my quarterback. And we about to show out on Sunday. I'm going to be in the building, man. I'm going to be in the building for real, for real, all the way turned up, man. Say, so, listen. Ooh, so you know, y'all going to see a different tuck out there on, on, on Sunday. So don't expect me to get you got <laughs> You got to bless us bless with some, got some, some margaritas. Some there. Yeah, I need I need some uh, some Calvarita tuck. Live in the, oh in, yeah, are you, are you in, getting in, that? Oh yeah, you get yeah, you getting Calvary to tuck out the gate, bro. You know, you getting Ciroc right. tuck out the gate. Don't get, you doing all don't that, get caught in the elevator tomorrow. Ooh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> don't get caught nah, nah. that one time. You got caught. Yeah, yeah, it was a Giants game, man. I missed out. I was like, man, who's out on the stretch? Like, oh, it's Daniel Jones. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, what happened? I missed the whole second quarter stuck in the elevator, man. You know? Oh, man. Walked to the other side of the building, went to the wrong seats, you know, but it happens. Oh, you're kicking it. Hey, my boy also yeah, got yeah. that Dak shirt. Y'all look out for JT. Y'all need to go to. He merch king right now, man. Say he. Right, he, he really is. Cowboysfansonly.com. Yeah, man. Yeah, salute to my girl Mary. Everyone has been buying the Dak shirts, man. We they bought us out during Christmas, man. We couldn't, you know, we ah. had to restock the store, but we all we all you know Dak restock. Uh, use the code TFO gang to get ten percent off, man. I appreciate all the support. Oh yeah, man. That's Dak on that merch. All right. So I said Dak on that merch. Tuck on that merch. You you, you already know how that happened. You already know how that happened, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's, so, that's all. That's all me, man. 
See, I didn't want to start with this. I did not. Got I'm to. not gonna start with it, but man, we gonna get to that last, bro. Uh, Cause I want to just cover a couple of things real quick. Let's go around the circle, all right? If that's cool with y'all, all right? Yeah. So the first thing, just real quick, real quick. I wanted to hear from the big dogs, everybody. We'll start with you, Big James, on obviously the extension of Will McClay, you know? Uh, and what does that mean, you know, for the Cowboys? What does that mean to you? What does that mean to coaching? I just kind of want to kind of go around the circle and hear from you guys about that, and then we go get into the topic we came to talk about. Oh, uh, well, I mean, first of all, that's huge. That's one guy that we've all been – chirping up that's been our our godsend since they really put him in that that full role of kind of the advisor and the kind of like the gm type in yeah. 2014 you've seen all the players that's come zach martin tyron smith i mean the drafts have been crazy uh the the free agents that he's been able to pick up the mid-round players that the gems that he's been able to find you know sneaky free agents i mean in this last two drafts have been ridiculous especially this last one so you can't give him nothing but big ups uh what he's done for the cowboys what he's continually doing uh, the relation that relationship that he has with jerry jones and the thing i love about it is he ain't worried about that gm title or having no title by his name he get man he's a made man he's bulletproof in dallas he's a made man so why would he ever leave dallas for everything he's got going on and bringing to the table, especially Jerry Jones is taking care of him like a king. So why would he go somewhere? So I just feel like it's it's more for more good things for Dallas ahead. Continue with the draft, continue with the players that they pick. You need somebody like that because, like I said, with Stephen Jones, Stephen Jones don't like to go crazy with that money, right? He ain't going to just right. throw that money out to anybody. So you got a guy like Will McClay that knows how to manipulate things and get the right type of players to what Stephen Jones is going to pay anyway. And I think it kind of goes hand in hand. So I think it's huge. I agree. Yeah, man. Um, I feel like well, like this, Will McClay been doing this thing in Dallas for a long time, mm -hmm. you know, and we've heard these chirps in every offseason, you know, when will he probably get tired of not having a title type situation? And it makes mm -hmm. me a little nervous every year because I know what he do. But I, I'll just put it, I'll sum it up like this, man. Will McClay, when you let him do his job, he does it well. Right. So when you don't have Rob Marinelli jumping in there begging for Taco Charlton and stuff like that, <laughs> we get stuff. He, Will McClay knows what he's doing. If you just let him do his job, you know what I'm saying? Give him give him the ingredients you need, and he's going to go grocery shopping. That's my thing. Like I feel like Dan Quinn and, and, and people say, this is what I need. I need players like this. And Will McClay going to go find them in every round. Facts. And in free agency. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think that there's a respect level there. Um of course, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm sure he got financially compensated properly because I mean that's that's part of it, but I do feel like that the Joneses know what they have on their hands and they show him the utmost respect because they know that right now they got one of them one of them guys in the league that's hard to find. You know, if they didn't think like that, then we would have heard the story of him moving on. But they pulled him to the side behind the scenes, like, listen, we know what you do. You know, and if, if he right. if he had a vanity thing to him where he needed that title, we might have a problem in our hands. But he a grown man about his, and he ain't worried about the title. So facts, so, so. facts. Yeah, what you got? Yeah, on that and I talk? think you know, I think knowing how this front office operates with Stephen and Jerry, they ain't gonna open up their wallets no more. So you need a visionary, and and Will McClay is that visionary to be out there to you know find players in draft to find an OC a Digazua, you know, and and find a J Ron Curse. Like you need that visionary even though he doesn't have the title of being your GM, we all know he's the GM, um, but he works well with, with, with Steven and Jerry. Like he knows his role. He doesn't overstep his boundaries. He does his job well. And he's been a, a critical piece to the success of this team for, you know, for quite some time. So, you know, I was ecstatic that he's coming back. You heard Dak Prescott kind of speak about it when the news broke today, the players are happy for Will. And so it was something that needed to be done. Cause honestly, if we did lose Will McClay, I would have kind of been a little bit nervous, like, all right, so, you know, what is things really going to look like, you know, in the future when it comes to the Cowboys? And so I'm happy we re-signed him. And like I say, when you're loyal to Jerry, he going to compensate you. So that's the key, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll he'll pay for it if he finds some value and you're loyal to him. So 
you know, salute to Will McClay coming back and getting that big bag, bro. Yeah, my question is, <laughs> what does that mean for then Dan Quinn and Kelly Moore? There's opportunities yeah, yeah. out there, man. One of them gone. <laughs> Cause the, do that mean was, that Jerry kill, kill it, is willing to open up the bag for what he value? Why wouldn't he did it, it for Marinelli and uh, he did it for Marinelli and he did it for Linehan. So right, but just like right. I think Tuck just said it, I think I think Kellen is gone too. I think Kellen is. Right. I think he really wants the opportunity to coach. I think he's like getting impatient and he wants to. And I, like I said earlier on the feed. I heard he got interest in Minnesota. Go on over there in Minnesota. I already said what's going to happen to you, Kellen Moore. You're going to get eight up by them sharks. Go on over there in Minnesota and Dallas play you next year. See what's going to happen to you next year. You're going over to Minnesota. Dallas going to bust your head in. So go on over there. That's cool. Just like I said with Dan Quinn. This is what I said right quick. Hey, I love Dan Quinn. Okay, Kellen Moore, you kind of done soured on me a little bit. I don't love you as much no more. You feel me? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding to real. I don't love me you too. as much no more. I love Dan Quinn. You know yeah. you, I was on you, but I don't love you as much. Dan Quinn, I'm going to tell you this, Dan Quinn, too. Don't be like Wade Phillips. Go get another job and then get fired again. Then you find out you're defensive right. coordinator because Dallas Cowboys still going to be here and you might not be here. You feel me? Right. So don't be leaving no good opportunity because this is where you can build. You better be like Will McClay. Will McClay said, hey, I know what's good over here, so I'm going to go ahead and stay. Y'all want to go over there and thinking this greener passion is going to get swallowed up. You feel me? Stay on over right. here and build something great because, Dan right. Quinn, you really could build something great because Dallas is not known for that defense in a long time. You can stay here and go ahead and build something because if y'all don't, doubt like, like Jerry Jones said with T Tara Owens, Dallas Cowboys still going to be here whether y'all here or not. Mm -hmm. Right. And from my standpoint, when it comes to Dan Quinn, it's like you went to a Super Bowl and they still did you dirty. So you know how the NFL is. Why would you want to go be a head coach and you know for the Broncos? You know, they damn near about to lose their team possibly. So why would you want to go through that where you can sit here in Dallas, be a defensive coordinator, Jerry going to pay you a decent salary, you get the weapons that you drafted in Micah Parsons and Bossman and some of these young players. Like you can just ride on into the sunset. So why do you really want to challenge yourself to be a head coach? Seeing what's happening around the league, man, you probably get a two-year lease and things ain't working out and some young, hot college you know, coach wants to come through the ranks, they're going to fire you and bring them in and you right back at square one where you're at right now. So if I'm Dan Quinn, I'm sitting where I'm at and remain a defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. But when it comes to Kellen Moore, he's hard-headed and he wants that opportunity to be a head coach. And he's going to find out they ain't got no Dak, no Zeke, no CeeDee Lamb, mm. no Amari Cooper over there in, in Minnesota. You know, but... I think Kellen is gone because you heard that Dan Quinn, they were going through role plays the night before the interview. And so we all had job interviews. We don't prep for jobs we don't want. You know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of walked right. in the line. So if you really want a job, you going up your resume, you getting everything buttoned up. So it sounds like Kellen Moore really wants that opportunity. And if he gets it, he gets it. But, hey, you see, you see what happened around the league, man. So he'll be back. <laughs> you know, so. All right. I got two 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 thoughts, surprise uh, lines of thoughts on this thing. For for Dan Quinn, I feel like two things can be true. I feel like Dan Quinn has came in and completely changed the thought process on how we you know want to play defense in Dallas. You know he's reinvigorated the defensive side of the ball just with you know his energy. But it's also because of the players. It's not just the right. scheme. Michael Parsons and mm -hmm. Trayvon Diggs and. Odigi Zua and a lot of other players have been a part of his resurgence. And if he thinks that it's just like, I could just put anybody in there, he lying to himself. It's partly the play. So he can leave Michael Parsons. He can leave Michael Parsons if he wants to, and somebody else is going to want that lottery ticket. I'm letting you know right now. Right. Because that's, right. that's why a Fangio or someone else that, that coaches defense, or if they, you know, um, bring up Edwards, that's why they would want that, that, that opportunity. Because you hit your wagon to Michael Parsons, it, only good things are going to happen, you know. Um, but as far as with Kellen, I'm not going to be too mad about him leaving. <laughs> That's just, it is what it is. I feel like, right. this is my <laughs> you, know, you know how you go off to college or you put yourself in a different environment to, to mature right. more? I feel like Dak Prescott will take his next step in maturation when he separates from Kellen Moore. 
Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Off yeah. the top buckle. All right. See, this is. This I'm just is saying, I feel like the next time, I feel like, you know, like 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 in any anything in life, you know what I'm saying? You got to put yourself in an uncomfortable environment. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it'll be easy. Right. I'm saying the type of work ethic that I've heard that Dak Prescott has, he won't cower to the challenge of being able to look good without Kellen. He'll accept it and it'll make him grow as a player. Because right now he's been living in a comfort zone of having the same offensive coordinator for multiple years. As soon as Kellen right. leaves, he's going to have to dig deeper. Right. And I feel like that might be right. a good thing. Now, right now, of course, we're in the middle of a playoff run. So we'll talk about that in the offseason. But I'm just saying, when it happens, I ain't gonna be surprised if Dak take another leap because he gonna finally have to dig deep into his bag. Mm. Hey. And I feel like what's gonna happen is you're gonna see Mike McCarthy inject some of his DNA into Dak Prescott. I can't wait. You know, because when you know, I was I was cool on Kellen. I was, you know, a Kellen more apologist. Yo got boss fire. Drop that video. Yo got drop that video on me oh, and let man. me know we got some of that Linehan DNA still yeah. floating around our locker he room. I said, damn, you so yeah, right. Man. Uh, yeah, I yeah, so he's Lena Hannish. Yeah, well, so with him gone, Mike McCarthy might say, "Nah, bro, take that deep shot. Your wide receiver is better than that corner. Take it, you know, because we mm. went through that with Aaron Rodgers. He he'll die at Anthony Brown or Jordan Lewis two times in a row because you can't stop where I got Devontae Adams. Well, so he's with yep. that and Dak Prescott, and I feel like once we get Kellen out the door, we might see that moving forward. So best of luck, Kellen. Oh, for these next four games, though, for these next four games, everybody watching you. So it's a job Ooh, interview I'm right now. Go out and impress somebody. Right. The the that's that's winner. what I was Who's saying. Up? That's what I was saying. What uh, um, K- KD Drummer was talking about when he was like, this is a good thing, at least in the short term for Dallas, because if both of them do leave, they are both interviewing. So we should get their best. Right. We should get the best kind of right. defense from Dan mm-hmm. Quinn, the best kind of offense from Keller Moore, because y'all trying to get jobs because you remember in 2018 <laughs> when Chris Richard was with the squad Richard, and yeah. he was the hot guy. His name was all up in there. Everybody was talking Chris Richard this until they ran up 250 on Dallas. And then we ain't hear about no Chris Richard <laughs> name yeah. no more. You feel me? <laughs> That's where it happens in, in the Orleans. NFL. You know what I'm saying? So you totally, go and so totally. you go over there yes. and blow up both of these things for the short term. Dallas can benefit. So let's you if y'all want to leave, leave and let's get this chip and then go on about your business. Yeah, man. yeah. Worst question you get asked in an interview is so what happened on Sunday? <laughs> you don't want yes. yes. to get that on. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, so I think we'll get the you're right. I think we don't get their best their best Coaches. schemes that they can yeah. put out there because they they, they, they won the job. They want a job. So I don't right. think Kellen going to play around because he knows. Yoga, if fire. We, if we, if we, fizzle, if we fizzle, he going to be like, so what are we doing next year in Dallas? <laughs> right. You know? So, yeah. Hey, right, listen, listen. Check this out, y'all, because I'm, I'm going to piggyback on what everybody said. Honestly, to be honest, you Dan Quinn and Kelly could go as long as this man stay. To be honest, as long as Will McClay, of course I like Dan Quinn. Of course we like what he's right. done, but I think Jay Tuck and Rome, y'all, I, I heard what y'all said. I think y'all hit it dead on the head because, like, you living off the acquisitions of Will McClay. You know what I'm saying? So right. you 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 dealing with a guy who was able to build a top notch defense in one year. Right. So genius. Dan Quinn, are you really genius? Or are you Atlanta Dan Quinn unless you have a partnership with Will McClay? You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he's like, got some genius. I mean, we need to, I mean he's, he's been blessed with some talent. Yeah, he's been you know? blessed with talent. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. And, and and then here's the thing. It's just like if y'all are at a job, right? We've all mm-hmm. been at jobs before and people – and you've been like, man, I'm getting tired of this. I ain't trying to do this no more. But then you look back and you're like, man, I got all these good friends. I, every day I come to work, right. it is good. It's a great thing. You know what I mean? You go to another and job, you're like, man, I hate this boss. <laughs> I, I hate these people over here. And then you be looking at the other job over there like sad as you don't know what. So you all right. – you, you, just got to be smart on what you're doing. And just like you just said, boss and Tuck and, and uh, Rome, how y'all been saying, you got blessed into this. There ain't, you ain't got no Michael Parsons everywhere where you going. You don't got no right. You, uh, Michael Parsons ain't falling off no trees. You got blessed right. in something very, very good. Why would you try to jump out there and try to take over and do all them daggone things again? Didn't you just have an interview and say you having the time of your life? Now, enjoy right. goodness. 
and enjoy this defense and blow up everybody in the Super Bowl and say, you know what? Let's do it again. Right. Yeah. Run it back. Hey, I got something else. I'm going to rock y'all with this one. I'm going to start with you on this one, B. This, this, this for you, big homie. Okay. Can you see that? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Is is he starting? No. I, he, oh. This article is speculating, but it's some oh. evidence that it's some conversations about it, though. At least Brian Broad has hinted towards it. So, and to a degree, it also make a little bit sense with this team because you're going to need corners that can come up and tackle this game, and that's physical. You, you know need, what I mean? We need that athletic ability, man. I mean, let's keep it real. You know, just bouncing off of this. You know, I said it like we, a few weeks ago because like five weeks ago, I said, is this season a wash? Because I was like, damn, is he going to get in the lineup? Because the way Anthony Brown is playing and Jordan Lewis is doing okay, I felt like he ain't going to crack it. When he got his opportunity, right. we all saw it in Washington. We all saw, okay, guess what? I don't care if it's Washington. He has ability. And we, we knew right, he had right. the ability, but then when we saw it. So then he comes back again. I mean, his percentage in that Washington game uh, was great. And then he comes back in that Philly game, nine tackles. So you see he not scared. He wasn't yep. scared to stick his nose up in there. He has the natural fluent athletic ability. And you're going to need that in the playoffs, man. He can't be sitting down on the bench. And my thing is this. If you start with Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis, you better have Boss Man or Kelvin Joseph standing right next to you because I'm sorry, Jordan Lewis, you be getting cooked up a little bit, dog. You be getting cooked. So mm -hmm. I don't care anybody say you be getting cooked up a little bit. So Kelvin Joseph need to be right by Cole. Hold on, big. Because he what, hold on, big. What dog. happened in Arizona? What happened in Arizona? Right? I'm what happened? To, I see. He should have started in that yeah, Arizona game, and they got cooked up. He was. They got cooked yeah. up, and they. Who came, who came in the game? Who came in the game? I got who came in the game? I remember that. They was getting cooked up. That's oh, a big play. That? I don't remember. I don't remember that play. It was out of the slot. And then right after right. that play, that's when um AB dropped down into the slot and they put pulled pull Joseph on the field. I remember that play. Ooh, yep. You know what I'm saying? I feel like so it's cool. like, my question hold is this. on now. What other plays this. now? Y'all ain't finna get on the home no, 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 Lulu, no, no, no. man. Y'all not, not player. Hold <laughs> <laughs> <Y 'all laughs> on, play. Y'all not finna I'll get ask, on the home and Lulu. Tuck. Tuck. They put Joseph <laughs> on the field. He's an outside corner. Yeah. Right? Who they benching? Lewis and Brown. Cause remember in the game they, they bench Lewis, but you right. benched Lewis, mm. right? I'm asking I you because I, I was looking. I was like, I was like, I was like, why is Bossman in the game? I thought someone might have got hurt, but they made a, an adjustment after that first game when, when Bossman started. I'm so, asking, you know, who would you bench? Ooh, Lewis or Brown? Pressure. What does shirt say? Ooh. The shirt say pressure, pressure and privilege. privilege. I wonder because like, yeah. if, if, if yeah. Bossman outside, if you, you want Brown on the field, still, you want Lewis. I'm I'm keep I'm keeping AB on the field. I'm keeping AB on the field. So exactly. Like he's better. He's better yeah, in the slot. Yeah. You know I'm, move, I'm moving him in the he's slot. Better in the slot. He's outside, better in the slot. Outside. Dog, yeah. hey, listen. Right. In that right. game, yeah. in that game, in that game, when Kelvin Joseph started and L A Brown was in the slot, they played they very done. good together. But they see, played great together. You could see but, Anthony but, Brown was better in that slot. But here's my problem with this, y'all. We yes. had so many opportunities to do this earlier and really get him the rep, the reps that he needed. You know what I'm saying? But so we here now, though, Tuck. I, I, I know, but ah. I just wish he was just more of the speed. Yoga, player. Yoga, player. Do you think, Tuck, 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 you think, let me ask Tuck. you this, Tuck. Do you think this is oh, the, go, go, go. do you think the moment's going to be too big for him? Hell no. Not. Not this game. Not I'm this liking game. this. So, I'm I mean, liking this debate. I'm since liking we're it. playing San Fran and the way that they operate, I don't feel like it would. Now, this was like you know playing. Is because of rookie? Or, you know, it's like a season. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I wish he would have got more opportunity throughout the season with this experimentation, get him on the field. I don't know why we waited so long to the final weeks in December and January to finally get Boston on the field. I know we had the the groin injury and some other things going on. But he should have been getting opportunity with a lot of these blowouts we've been having and some of these teams we've been playing. Um, I think he's been out there a little bit. This is interesting. Interesting. What do you have to say on I that? feel like this. You know what I feel like? You know how the practice has been kind of closed off to the media. They can't see nothing because they can't go on the star. Mm. You know right. what I'm saying? So we don't know what they're going to roll out. We <laughs> They might really right. already have him practicing with them. We don't know. 
Hold on real quick. You might have been asking the ones that hey, way hey, back y'all in give camp. Me one no, second. We were saying that. Y'all we give me one second because I didn't expect this to happen. But hey, I love being a cowboy. Big, big, big game James. Game changer. We got up here. Yeah, let's have some fun. Boy, let's have a good though. time, man. Let's kick it. Oh my, my. Let's go. Mm, who the I game changer? I, I was just saying, like, when we started off in camp, a lot of us, and mm. I said this personally too from Oxnard, I know James, you was there really? too, that boss man was playing better than Anthony Brown in camp. Like, I felt like if he didn't have the groin injury, boss man should have been starting out the gate that was me personally right um right so was like, i don't know why what what took so long to get boss boss man involved a lot more with this defense so like i said it's it's san francisco you know i i'm just not taking anthony brown off the field for this game so if anyone's going to be sacrificed it's going to be jordan lewis which i think is you know he ain't going to change the course of a game like if jordan lewis ain't out there that's the reason why we lost no. Hold do on, they do the? Do they do this like? This is um, interesting. Like Hold Santa? on, and we got us a oh. fire cupboard. Check this out. <laughs> Check this coming out. He said, "Yes, Lewis got bench," and then he said, "Dan Quinn said he saw Boss Man coming, and on, and so he did. Like started Boss Man, yeah, like that first and, Boss Man. So big. I mean, according to the chat, people acting like this is official, bro. Well, we didn't, I mean, we because, couldn't figure it out in, in Philly because. Of what happened? <laughs> like we couldn't figure I mean, out Philly because I mean, of you know all the starters not being there. So, right. so listen, listen. I'm I've got to have them out there. Somewhere. I want to kind of jump in on this one. So when it come down to, I feel J Tuck because see I'm with J Tuck on the play playoffs. It's kind of like a risky time to start experimentation, right? But then I'm also like believe in boss man in terms of having that natural moxie that natural competitiveness mm -hmm. almost like digs like digs your one he he obviously wasn't what he is now but we could all see one thing he was a competitor just like what mm -hmm. he did on dk metcalf what he did on dk metcalf when he didn't quit on that play and he knocked that ball out versus seattle that play alone showed you what kind of guy Diggs was, in my opinion, fellas. You know, so right. I'm not tripping either way on this one. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I feel mm -hmm. like all the guys are good. And uh, I feel like Boss Man got to work out his rookiness, but he's still mm -hmm. a true second rounder that might get his legs even going into this playoff game. And even if he have an right. okay game, his okay game is still gonna be probably and likely on the level of Anthony Brown, in my opinion. But boss, right. what about this? What about the fact when they say you just you just young enough to young enough to not know what you don't know? So right. you you play more free. Oh my bad. You know what I'm saying? You might play more less. Play yeah. this. A B know that we waiting for him to get benched, so he might mm. play up tight. Mm. You put boss out there, he gonna be listening to his own music before the game. He gonna play. He gonna play free. He gonna be ready for the moment. Right. That's what I feel like. I don't feel like he gonna cower at all. He been itching yeah, for the moment. Ain't gonna, back, ain't gonna back down for no fight. He ain't gonna back down for no fight. We see that clearly. Yeah. Hey, AB be looking yeah, tight out there a little bit. Yeah, and then you know, with the physical wide receiver such as Debo, you know, you gonna have to be a dog out there. You want to be able to make tackles come down and play. And so, you know, it's an interesting oh, conversation. Is coming like. He said, if you're going to experiment, this is the wide receiver call to do it against in the playoffs. Right. Right. I, like I, I agree. This is this is it. Like, let's yeah, play play that game, I feel like, look, look. <laughs> y'all, y'all talk about experiment and all that. This ain't no experiment, dog. Jordan Lewis be getting cooked. I don't care what anybody tell me, dog. He be getting beat in that slot. He was never a natural slot corner to me because when he came out right. of college, I'm going to still say it. His best year was when he played on the outside not when he played in the slot Facts. his best year to date is when he's playing on the outside Yoga fire. because i think he's just a Yoga natural outside flame. corner he just got moved to the slot because of his size i feel like ab was more of a natural right there but they kept playing him on the outside you drafted kelvin joseph in the second round to start like you had yeah, digs digs point. got started i know uh there was an injury but he started and got got a hell of a five first weeks against all them receivers so he didn't back down right. from it he didn't run away from it so <clears throat> it's time to play this dude i know it's the playoffs and all, i get it and all that but what you got to lose well i mean let's let's be honest 
what Dallas got to lose right here? Don't you think Dallas should be throwing all their chips in right now? So yeah, you're throwing I do. all your chips in. You yes, need to get yes. all your players in. You got nothing to lose right now. If anything, you better play everything because guess what? Everybody's still talking that one and done. So I'm coming out there with all my best guys. I'm not holding right. anything back yeah. in this game. And guess what? Right now, I think Kelvin Joseph is one of my best guys on defense that I can play with, and I'm not taking that chance with somebody I've, I've seen getting cooked up. I'm a, if I'm going to get cooked up, let me get cooked up with this guy we just drafted, not 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 guys that wouldn't be starting anywhere else. Boy, Jay, so why your face summer, looking like that, big dog? I was, I was saying if they would listen to me this summer, they could have took KZ off the field and moved somebody back to safety, but, you know, it's too late for all that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So... <laughs> So we got us something else. All right. So hold on. What's the final word? What's the final verdict, real quick? What's the hold on? Somebody say empty the clip. Somebody said empty the clip. I got the clip ready. So since we talking about clips, right? Since we talking about clips, oh, 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 oh. We had some clips kind of unloaded on us. Big game, James. Can we talk about this, big dog? Please, let's talk about it. Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what? it's so funny because we had this great discussion early this morning before we rounded up and got all together, and we were talking about Leo Collins. And me, Tuck, and Boss were all talking about Collins and Steele and having the debate. Yeah. You know, and I, it's funny how we just start talking about, hey, Ty, uh, Collins, you I I feel like me and boss feel like still should start and tuck like, Hey, let's get some tape. And so we going back and forth. And then, you know, we were talking about Tyron Smith, um, this Tuesday, yep. uh, boss on the final word, talking about, he's not the same Tyron Smith. We right. ain't hating on him, right. but it's the truth. And then all of a sudden today, Boza come out here out of nowhere saying, yeah, nowhere. They, you know, Tyron Smith, hall of, hall of fame career. But you know what? They're very solid players, but they definitely beatable. There's show, there's tape showing they getting beat, and we basically what he's saying is is what we great, said. But they've been beat, and we coming in here, and we gonna we gonna get on. He basically feel I'm gonna get up on that that ass. That's Just what he language. said. That's and what listen, he said. Bro, he said and, I'm gonna get up on their ass. That's what he is saying <laughs> right there. I'm gonna get up on their ass. Yeah, y'all good, but I'm getting up on that ass. So Ty, Tyron Smith and Leo College, you I know y'all listen to social media. Y'all yes. lying players. Y'all some lying players if y'all don't listen to social media. You so lying. I hope you looked at that and you heard what the hell he just said. Yes, you better block you your heard ass it. off. Cause I'm still saying I think uh Terry Steele is better. And we gonna talk about it, Tuck. We gonna talk I about think that. Better right there, <laughs> we gonna us. talk we about gonna that. Talk about it. We gonna talk about it. Cause I think he got the mobility to deal with that. Where I'm willing Little worried, Leo Collins ain't got that mobility to give what he gonna try to give him. Ooh. I ain't nobody worried about that, bro. <laughs> I ain't nobody <laughs> worried. If, right, listen, if, 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 if boy, if boy okay. do his damn job, then Nick Bosa won't be an issue. You if know? Who? Bo so that, like, uh, who is Boy Wonder? Boy Wonder and Keller Moore. Okay, Keller Moore. okay. I want to make sure if I was you with you. Run the ball. I want if you run the ball, keep him off balance, use tempo, use the play action. Don't just peel, let him peel back his ears and come press your deck all the entire game. Like, say, play the same way you played against his brother. We'll be perfectly fine. I'm not worried about Nick Bosa being the game wrecker. Like, I just not. Like, we just faced Chandler Jones, and he tried to wreck the game, and we still damn near should have won that game as well. So I just don't see the impact that Nick Bosa is about to have. Will he make a few plays here and there? Yeah, absolutely. But, nah, he ain't going to change the course tuck, of the game. Tuck, it's all cap. Come on. He, he, I, I ain't being scary, but Tuck, you gonna tell me Chandler Jones wasn't giving uh Ty Tyron Smith some work? Hold he on, was giving everybody. He was giving Dalton Schultz some work. Yeah, he was giving everybody work. a little work. <laughs> no, no, Dalton Schultz ain't work. blocking nobody. Of course no. he gave. Man, I got the film. Dalton Schultz ain't blocking nobody. I got the film. Dalton Schultz ain't blocking nobody. I said Tyron. That's Smith. what I'm saying. Everybody was everybody was getting some work. It wasn't just one person. Chandler Jones was passing it around. You know what I'm saying? But listen, bro. Well, that's, that's what I'm a, saying. Yeah, that's a – see, because this, this – okay, Tuck. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty, bro. Hold on real quick. Go ahead, bro. It's a big thing for Boss Cowboy to actually say publicly that he drunk Kool-Aid. Listen, mm. I do not drink Kool-Aid without first measuring. Okay. The South got something to say. See, Go this ahead. is this is my problem, bro. I'm going to be all the way honest with everybody. 
I think there's some clear bias going on. Not by you, Tuck, by not you, Rome, not by you, Big, but in the cowboy community. Because we all remember this right here, right? Everybody remember the Marcus Crosby play. Everybody, it went around social media. like. But see, it's some dishonesty going on as well. Because the first thing I'm gonna show y'all by the film is you gotta really look close and look at his foot and how he got tripped up by Zach Martin. See, people not go talk about that. You know what I mean? They go just make it seem like he just got slammed on his back. That's one. But what I don't like about this community is I heard people, especially on Twitter and Facebook, they said, I can't get this play out of my head. This one play, but I was I can show a bad play from everybody. I can show a bad play from T. Smith getting killed, getting devoured, right. getting Dak sack. I can show Collins getting devoured by second teamers and third teamers. Like watch Collins right here get slammed on his back. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Like this goes around. Like I don't think people <laughs> should use one or two plays to evaluate any of these guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I've been seeing right. too much. And look at that. Come on. But if we just judged him by that one play, you would say he stink. But Collins shouldn't be judged by one play. Steele shouldn't be judged by one play. None of these guys right. should be judged by one play. You know what I mean? But in my synopsis, and I want to really talk about this, the guy that's to me ready to play right, right tackle and where I – Running game was at his best was when Steele was playing right tackle. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, for this year, you're tough. <laughs> I can't, from what I've seen, I can't say that you're completely wrong. Mm -hmm. um, I will say this, though, man. I'm going to go back to the article a little bit, just for a second. I like, 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 like what does shirt say? Pressure, pressure bus pipes, man. Pressure's a privilege. Right. If Bosa gonna talk that spicy, and it was it was it was it was it was congealed spicy. It was like, all right, I'm gonna say it, but I ain't gonna say nothing too crazy just in case I need to back out of it. But if I was Ty Smith, because that's who he talking to, he the Hall of Famer. I know Lyle Collins get group with them, but he gotta put more stuff on the field before you get grouped with them anymore. You can't put him with uh, with Zach Martin and, 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 and Ty Smith no more. But Ty Smith ain't had his best year. So when somebody come out and blatantly just say, yeah, I'm going to probably pretty much, I'm going to beat you on, on Sunday. It ain't really no big deal to me. That's a that's a, that's a direct shot. No one ever calls out Ty Smith. This is rare. I, I'll never see yeah. it. Yeah. So I want to see Bosa line up over Smith. Don't run to Collins early. You know, you want to talk spicy. Don't, 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 don't line up over, don't line up over uh, Ryle Collins for 90% of the plays. And then go over there with Ty Smith for ten percent. Line up over Ty Smith since you won't talk crazy. Look him dead in his eye. Did you talking spicy? And let's see what's gonna happen. Cause I know one thing. I've seen him like put grown men on a like they'll call a hold on something that's just like he's just stronger than that grown man. He just put him on his back. So I'd like to see a little fire let up on the people, man. It it do something. It's different. But so wrong. I'm hoping that Rome, real quick. You know they go really put Bosa on where they feel like the best matchup is, though. And I feel you on the point, Collins. But you know but they you go, put him on you, Collins. What would you do if you're the D coordinator? Would you put him against T. Smith or would you put him on Lyle Collins? Well, I know he move around, but yeah, I'm putting him on Collins. There's no right. question. So that's what especially after this comment. Like. If I was a D coordinator, this comment, I wouldn't even put him over there. So you, you messed it up. So let me ask you this, boss. <laughs> what makes you believe that Collins isn't ready for this matchup? Yeah, because uh, I broke down his tape. Especially, I looked at the Philly game again. And so, so you look yeah, I broke it down too. We do our homework. We yeah, do our we homework. And you making me watch offensive line yep. film seventy-two hours away from the playoffs, man? Yep. I hate offensive line film. Why so, do you hate it? Huh? It depends on what huh? film you like, because if you watch the right film, it's sexy. See, I like I like the defenses. I like yeah, the trenches. Yeah. I like the defenses. Say, line, man, edge, that line, offensive man, like, line yeah. getting nasty. Did you see them? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. We ain't going to get caught up on that. So, so, what, what so, what, so from my <laughs> perspective, right, you had Lyle Collins, mm -hmm. zero sacks allowed versus Philly, zero pressures, zero quarterback hits. All right? 
We did have the play versus Milton Williams where he kind of got tossed around on the run. But if you look at that play, the very next play, Terrence still got dog walk right into Dak Prescott's lap right after. So I don't understand why people think that Lyle is the issue when it comes to his offensive line. There's other concerns when it comes to the left guard position. And me personally, it's the center. I do not feel like we will lose this game due to, to Lyle Collins. I just don't see it. So show the next play to happen right after that. I got screen share. You want to see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I can pull up the film. Let me pull up the actual film. Yeah, so, we can go line by line. Show, 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 show the, show the yeah, play let's right go line by that. line. Let me pull it. Hey, all big game. But tuck, y'all keep no, talking. Tuck, I'm gonna pull I want to say my expertise. Tuck, I'm gonna just be quiet. <laughs> but, 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 but here's the thing. But also, I want to. I want to say this. So we all know that Terrence still played predominantly last year, right? Coming mm -hmm. to the off season. You heard about how he had a great camp. He's a workout warrior. He improved drastically. You heard all the great things about him, right? Mm -hmm. Lyle was still kind yeah, of yeah. doghouse. Coming into the preseason, Terrence Steele struggled during the preseason from when we were out yes, there. We saw it, right? Yes, so we did. had concerns. Yes, Lyle okay. Collins won the starting right tackle position out the gate. Opened up versus Tampa and played lights out. That no, he did. That barely. was not lights he out. He didn't play lights. He did not. That was play. not he lights out versus bro, Tampa, that, bro. That, that was, he did that not was play. Not no, he that did was not play. lights out, bro. It was, not it was lights sloppy out. and it out shape. You watched that? That was a sloppy the, game. The, I would just watch nah, all bro, of this. Compared, yeah, yeah, bro, that was a sloppy game at Tampa. That was not lights out, bro. Compared to what everyone expected from the Tampa's front. Coming into that game, Dak Prescott was barely dog. touched that entire was, game. Dog. And that's dog. without that's that because Dak exactly. was getting that ball out. That's, that's because that's that all that happened. I'm going to say that. Can I, let yeah. me jump in. Let me jump in right quick. Yeah. Let, me jump in, let me jump in right quick. Yeah. Let me jump in right quick. Because <laughs> even I was watching him against the Saints game. I was watching him in the Saints game. Leo was getting chipped for, from Zach Martin, and he was getting chips from Dalton Schultz. And Dak was getting that ball out quick as hell. Quick. When somebody is able to do quick moves, uh, especially a counter move when he can spin on Leo, I'm not hating on Leo. But what you got to admit, dog, he has lost it, some of his athletic ability with that hip surgery, okay? He lost yeah. some of that athletic ability. And then he came in out of shape. He was already out of shape in 2020. Yep. He came in out of shape right. this year. If you watch him and his athletic ability, even when he was coming out of college, dog, one of the knocks was on him was that he can't sit down and people can get past him and, and his stance that he won't sit down. That was his problem. Okay. And it's reoccurring now. So that's all I'm saying. His power is best when it's in space. When he's all one on one, you know the right side is more one on one than the left side. He get he does get beat, but Dak gets out that ball. But he is getting beat on that edge, especially when people would do counter moves. Because if you move on him quick, he doesn't have that ability to reset and be able to hit your counter because of that athletic ability that he's lost. And that's when I watch him. Terrence Steele is able to do it because he has that athletic ability to make that counter move. When I watched that Raiders game, he, I saw three pressures. He was frustrating, Max Cosby. He was not getting help. In that second half, they started going the wide nine. Why? Because he couldn't get one-on-one -on -one with Terrence Steele. So they started doing wide nine so Max so Max Crosby could start doing moves ahead of Terrence Steele so he could get away from him. Why are you doing that? Because you can't get past him the other way. They winning. started spreading it out so they could do other ways so he could win because he was not winning against Terrence Steele one-on-one. Tough. Let me just say this one thing. I'm going to let Tuck go. I promise. L listen, I knew as soon as you said it, they did. I, I, of course, I'm a fan of all of y'all. And they did like a good, like, I feel like 15 shows talking about this. <laughs> and they, 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 they ran <laughs> film. <laughs> they ran film. <laughs> right. They I, saw film I saw it. I saw the right there. That lip thing they did. They did like a whole show about his lip. <laughs> So I knew as soon as you said something about Tampa, they was gonna lose it. I was just like, oh, right. yeah, here you go. <laughs> yeah, cause we broke it. it I knew it. I knew they was gonna get tricked. Like, that wasn't no good game. I need to understand, y'all. Here's what I want y'all, everyone watching the channel, understand. All right, we listen. Terrence Steele is the Mike McCarthy guy. He's the favorite. He's the pet cat. Right. He's the favorite. The he what? is the favorite. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. you just mentioned that. Right. you just mentioned that you just mentioned that they said that Lyle came. You mentioned that Lyle came to camp out of shape. You heard Mike McCarthy say that when Mike McCarthy when he came back from when when Lyle Collins came back from suspension, he was still in the doghouse. 
right? No they want way. Terrence Steele. They speak highly on Terrence Steele. What? Terrence Steele had the opportunity during the suspension to take the job where Lyle couldn't even be in the play right now. How did Lyle get the job back? Why okay. did he get the job because back? Because he makes because, $9 million a year? No, we, we saw cool. Dylan got shipped the hell out of here because his contract. Now, I mean, if, but, if, if, but if you Terrence know. Steele was who we... If Terrence Steele was who y'all think he is, there should have been no chance in hell that Lyle gets his job back. He actually, I don't see, care. I, I, I don't care. I, 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 I don't. I don't believe that. I don't believe who, 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 that. Who, who, I don't believe that. Let me make the case that I don't believe, that. That. I don't believe they're going to the sit a nine cat. million dollar man. They're not going to sit a nine million, million dollar million man dollar for eight hundred. They did. Come on, Tuck. You know Jalen. They sent him to Green Bay. Don't do that. They sent him out to Green Bay. No. And we have no line back And 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 hold up, hold up. He went to Green Bay, right? And then he got cut. And then he went to the Giants. You feel me? So we know right. Jalen so Smith is probably not going to be, not, is contract. not going to have a, no, you're going to sit there and say, but this is a young player. We already knew kind of Jalen Smith was headed out the door. Y'all y'all knew that. Y'all knew right. that. Was that was 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 Let me right. jump in here real quick. I know it's going to be here. Hold on, hold on. Everybody here has been a boss at some point. So everybody has, or is a boss or have been a boss. So let me ask y'all a question. Y'all get a guy that you hire, right? And you pay him. And after you pay him, he don't come to work. He miss a whole year of work after you pay him. And then he get in trouble again and miss another five games. You give him his job back anyway. That is favored. See, because the guy that's not favored was the guy who earned it. The guy who earned it, the guy who worked hard oh, in the offseason, who came make, in you ready. That it way, was not still fault that he was ready. He wasn't even supposed to play, Tuck. He's supposed to play. But Lyle came in out of shape. And when he so came when in out of shape, he hurt his hip. And then he missed the whole went, year. And that allowed when, Steele when to get these developmental reps. How many reps did Lyle get? Yeah, Remember when he came back, when see, came, see, no, he got four as reps a boss, would you, Lyle would you go back to that employee it. that missed a whole year and you paid him? So why, so if, so if, if Lyle was the favorite, soon as court clear suspension back, hey, Lyle, you back in the lineup, get back out there. Yeah. Why? The, why yeah. was Terrence still the starter? Yeah. Michael because, McCarthy came out and spoke I, because we were having conversations about it. They still played Terrence Steele. Ty they Tyron actually Smith said, got this is what they, they said. When they started McGovern and Steele, they said they started both of those guys because of consistency and play. And continuity with the offensive line. And then they That's broke exactly it. That's exactly what they, they said. I mean, so Why did they break it? I mean, they broke it because T. Smith got hurt. They, That's what happened. Right. T. Smith got hurt, T. Smith which then made Steele have to go to the left tackle. Okay. And that's right. where he struggled. He was balling at right tackle. He struggled initially at left tackle, but then that gave right. Collins back that right tackle job, which he right. never played a game that was like Steele's first five, not one. Even now. But the whole situation is different. I just watched your video on the 12 formation. He didn't have the same Ezekiel Elliott, right? Because he got injured. He had the same pilot. Uh, Collins came back. Huh? He had the same pilot. Well, pilot was nicked okay. up too a little bit. No, yeah, he, didn't nicked nicked up up. By he didn't get nicked like, up till late in the season. The Saints game. The Saints game. The Saints game. Yeah. Right. But he didn't have but, no Blake Jarwin. I mean, I, so the situation was different. So here's my the question that I'm keep asking. How y'all really think that Lyle got the job back when we can get out of Lyle's contract next year in 2022, save about two to three billion, and Steele's gonna be the right tackle of the future. They would have just went with Steele if they didn't no. see any value. No, no, no. Oh, let, me that. Let, me that. No, let me answer no. that. Let me answer that. No, let me answer that. Let me let me answer that. Let me answer that because you're saying that, right? This is my feeling on it if, from my perspective. If you're saying that. Why wouldn't they let him still play to be able to see if we can keep you and possibly move you to left guard? Because there's going to be a spot open 
for left guard next year. So when you're talking about possibly cutting him and moving a, a, a Terrence Steele, I feel like you still want to see what he has to offer, and that's why you throwing him back out there. You're not going to sit on the sit him on the bench and then ship him out next year. You want to see what's the value he has. You want to be let, let him be able to play so that out. Play him out so right you can see what kind of fight. Be a left guard. Let me ask you this question. You know, play him out. I mean, let me but, ask you this you're not going to put him at left guard because you know Connor Williams is there and you know this is his you last know, year. You had that whole time. conversation about best five in the middle of the season. The opportunity was to make the shift a long time ago. But see, he but they, I'm start, saying, though, Tuck. Tuck, he's, no, he's, he's, you know, you see, know, man, Tuck, you know, like I do, it's about that money. I don't care what nobody tells me. It's about that, that dude money. was making nine million dollars. Yep, he's making money. nine million dollars, and he's gonna start because that's he's making that money, and that's why he's there. That's yep. why he's getting all the chances because yeah, really he got money. paid that big money. It ain't, it ain't no thing to, to, to sit. But here's the thing: it ain't no thing to sit. Uh, Terrence Steele, he ain't making nothing. He was undrafted, so they can say you can sit down. You ain't, you yeah. wasn't drafted. You wasn't. Well, this dude, we back. paid a let's lot of money to, too, so he's coming back to start. Let's What'd bring him back wrong? to the game. Let's bring it back to the game. All right, same topic, but back, back to the game that's coming up. All right, okay. let's do like we did with the I corners. Like that. All right, like we did with the corners. So. We know that the, the, the starting lineup is going to be, you know, a Lyle and, and Ty. It, it just pretty is. It probably is what it is. But like um, OC tweeted earlier, um, it'll be some bloodshed if y'all let Lyle Collins be out there by himself. That's his opinion. I ain't trying to start a conversation with that. Right, My right. point is, let's just say he go out there and struggle. Do y'all see Phil? Let's, let's say, let's just give it a half. Let's say the first half he struggled with the game close. Right, right. Do we come out the half and, and, and still out there? I think you got yeah, to. Yeah, Steele's who they think he is. Yes, you so, definitely got to do been that. Struggling, you still I mean, got to. Because LT's been struggling since the last five yeah. weeks. Why haven't they done it, though? Yeah, I mean. So they'll give him a half if he's Tuck, struggling. See, Chuck, I don't want to try to. And we both know that this organization will always move. He hasn't been struggling like y'all trying to portray that he's struggling, bro. That's the problem. No, he, he hasn't been. Been. Listen, the lab Listen, I can show the film. He had? Yes, I've he has. Been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's been, been struggling. Right like, he's I can, been struggling. He's, he's been, been struggling. struggling. At, at, at 214, he falling. At the 18 I second see. mark, he getting help. At the 1850 mark, he falling again. And that's been a normal thing since he first started. He falls and he loses his balance a lot game? against C players. And I'm talking about Lyle Collins. So, this so hold game, on. Though. So I just want to I want to hear this. I want to hear this straight up. Are you saying that Lyle has better tape than Collins Tuck? Not, not necessarily. Still. Okay, that's the whole point of what we're saying. Is that the guy but, but who has not, the but, better but tape? I, I, I don't I don't I don't feel like all right, boom, if we take out Lyle Collins and puts Terrence Steele in, all our problems is solved. And I didn't say see no nobody said saying, all I understand. our problems. No, no, no. This is what we saying to right, we saying that we was having a lot of success running to the right when we had steel we we're in 12 formation it no 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 it we, we didn't run 12 we only run 12 25 percent of the games I, I, post post the picture i sent you though post the picture i sent you when what it shows picture? that we were actually running on the right edge of the tight end so in the thread that we have because that just shows right side so that could be a pulling guard that could be a fullback that could be a lot of things i got the film that, Tuck. That. we can go to the film you want to go to the I film i got the film too we're not, we're like not we can go to the film the, the biggest the biggest <laughs> runs was <laughs> off of steel's <laughs> butt the chat, the chat want to move on because like somebody was saying bro this whole conversation this is off-season conversation bro no it, this I is right now. this is playoff conversation we this just not, had a conversation not, about not. joseph's we just we, we just had a conversation about by Joseph's yeah, potentially bro, starting out the blue. Who got more so starting reps? So, so who got more starting reps? Hold on. Pressure. Who got more starting reps out of Kelvin Joseph and Steele? Who played more starting reps this year? Terrence Steele. Okay. So if we cool with Kelvin Joseph starting at the last minute, how can we not be cool with somebody starting that started 80% of this year? But I don't think he would start. I think it's got to be a bad half from Collins. He got to struggle. I agree. That's what, that, I, agree. I, I agree with. I agree with. That. I agree with Rome on that. I feel like this. Well, I want to see Collins. I want to see Collins do good. I don't. <laughs> look, I just want to say this. I don't want to see Collins do bad. I'm not hating on Collins. I want to see yeah, Collins do half. good and be dominant. I want him to do good and right. dominate. I want him to see this Boza thing and say, "All bro, right, you talking me about me? Film, I'm a bust you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bust you in your mouth." 
But what my thing is this, what my thing is this, if he does struggle in that first half against Bo Boza, I think they should be able to look and say, we're going to go with Steele. But I definitely think Terry, uh, I definitely think that if, if Collins is going to be the starter, then he needs to prove it that game because guess what? He's gonna have a lot of pressure with this guy. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna see if he steps up. It's good. If he we don't, saw Steel that's go just my opinion. Bolson. I think I I seen Give Steel up no be able to bang with these guys too, and I feel like right now, just in my opinion, he's just a better option athletically of he what is. he is. But if Colin, Collins is going to be starting, I just hope he brings it against Bosa, and I hope he sees what Bosa said. Well, he's, not so he's, hard because goes hard. he's not gonna start because Collins makes nine million dollars this year, so. Yeah, that's but this is the that's deal, because we all talking about how to win. That's what we really here to talk about, what Rome talking about, what you talking about, Tuck, what we all want to win. So we all know Lyle walking out there. What I think Rome was saying, which I think is the perfect balance of this, is just how still ready. In case. That's all we saying. Well, I don't uh, I would just, love to come talk to y'all next week and still ain't see the field. I don't need a struggle half. Right, because the game is interest. I don't need a. I messed up for a half. Now we got to yeah, call it a whole. But we at least got to think about it, and, we, and I think we got to discuss it because, like you said today, Tuck, didn't you say today that Laya had a bad game versus Philly because he was lazy? No, I said he got dog walked on that play. No, you Bill said Williams. he was lazy. You said he played lazy on your Twitter. Right. You, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a 50 okay. burger. Like, you know, so if good. he played lazy, that's why I don't feel comfortable. Can you understand why I don't feel comfortable? So you were feel comfortable when he went against uh, Cam Jordan and JPP and other players? Like, so you just not comfortable with Lyle at all? I mean, JPP? But, no. Listen, because he lost to Shaq Barrett. He didn't lose to JPP, but he definitely lost to Shaq Barrett. He lost three out of four pass rush. I know that for certain. Out of how so, many pass attempts? Uh, I said about four. Yeah. On the film breakdown that we did, he lost four of those matchups. Dak just got the ball out. That's it. But that, I'll, give, I'll give Tampa as a mulligan. That's first game. We all the way in the playoffs. So right. let's move forward. I but think he's had but, some good but even, keep bringing see, up that still play Will versus both in the first half of the season. Yeah, but it wasn't like, just that. He played good against Judon. Who was the sack leader at the time? That was he week played five. good against Hunt, right? Who's solid, right? And then still and and gave well up versus the no team. sacks at right tackle, none. They both given up two sacks. Still no, has given up more right quarterback tackle. hits and pressures than. Yeah, he gave up the so, left. So, so we don't, so we, don't up, we don't count we don't count none of Steele's left tackle stuff. Just the of right course tackle. Of course not. Stuff. Why would you do that? Well, you know what though? You know what, boss? You know what, boss? That's why, why he lost his job, boss. They but, different. But you right. If you want to, like, what you're saying is logical, but the reason why he lost his job to not get back is because the, the, the team didn't look at it like that. Bad play is bad play. So when he put out that bad play at left tackle, they ain't look at it like, well, that's just the left side. That's why he ended up back on the bench. If he never had any you know, bad plays at left tackle, he'd still be playing. Yeah, but that's it's messed, messed up. Man. Why it's, did it's, it's, it's real messed up. Why did he get his spot back? Why I mean, did he get his spot back? It's messed up when it happened. I mean, listen. what happened was not fair, they had to go with Steele. Tyron Smith got hurt. They moved Steele to left tackle. Lyle was inserted at right tackle, and they said, "Damn, we cannot take Lyle at right tackle right now. What do we do? Let's put Steele at tight end." And he scored a touchdown. Congratulations. Let's oh, move on to the playoffs. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, boy. Like, hey, hey, let's, so hey, let's, get, ah, hey, let's just go to the right. game because we could talk about this all day. We could let's just go to the game because. Stop I'm not agreeing me. with it to the to fall off. I'm bro, not agreeing I'm saying, with it. Like, bro, so let's like, just talk about the game. I'm not agreeing with you, bro. He's, 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 he's a backup, not, but it's not. He a what? Gonna, pinpoint okay. like he's yeah, the bro. He's the point. Bro, I'm not hyping point, up like, Collins, the bro. Problem, bro. It's a line. Like, I'm not. I'm not hyping him up. I'm not. I'm not. Here's the thing. We all do a great. Hold on. We all do an amazing job at what we do. Y'all think if Lyle Collins was the issue, we wouldn't have been talking about it? When Connor McGovern was messing up, I dropped the video on it. We all talked about it. We noticed it. If right. Lyle Collins was that big of an issue, we would all notice it. It's only a small cluster of people who feel like Lyle Collins is his big issue when it comes to our alpha to line. It's not even that's it. A, see, see, you put words in my mouth. No, I didn't not, say big yeah. issue. What I'm you saying just to say is who's better one on one. Right. I'm trying to get all the advantages into the playoffs. I'm not saying Lyle yeah. is bad. 
I'm saying so the so guy so that got say, the better say. push, the guy that's more athletic, the guy that held up one on one versus elite pass rushers, he didn't get the and help so, that people been saying he been getting tough. That's bro, always we ran 12 been a formation lot. 50 percent of the time when Jarwin was out there, bro. You so dropped listen, the video on it. Video. Listen, bro. We my the video. video. Black Jarwin's back. Uh, listen, bro. Listen, are you? Oh, okay. when, but, hold on, when hold Blake on, was let, out. let me ask Tuck this. Are you saying, I want to make sure I'm hearing you correct. Are you saying that Jawin was the reason Steele held up? I want to be clear on that. No, I'm saying that the 12 formations was held up. You know you can run 12 to Tyron Smith side, too. You can have two tight ends right. on inside, you're right, yeah, which they did a lot. Just good. because you run 12 don't mean that you're helping your right, right. tackle. I agree. Because like, when, we did, the, cause when we did the film breakdown, Tuck, on my page and my channel, I proved that Steel was one-on-one 95% -on -one of the time with no help, no chips. The closest thing that came to a chip was Zeke on a late chip that he didn't even have to do. He was just looking for work. Like, pretty much, they have been one-on-one -on -one the whole six games, and they started Bro, them Steel like that Island. game one against Bosa, against Big Bro, Brother Steel Bosa. All right, so I'm not Steel saying, because I don't want people to think I'm saying that Lyle is bad or trash or he's playing yeah, garbage. Not, I've I'm never said none of that. Either. Nope. What we're not, saying said. is we was getting more push. Because, see, this is, this is the thing I don't understand. People say we was running the ball good with Lyle Collins, not Collins, Connor Williams at left guard. We was doing so right. good when we had Cedric Wilson at the receiver. We was doing so great when we was running 12, but it's also a variable that we don't discuss. We was also doing great and had great continuity with still at right tackle. Great continuity. And matter of fact, Lyle said it himself. He said early, I didn't expect to start because I saw the continuity of the offensive line. He said it. I just want to know. Play Lyle we, and we never went back to it. When we when we do this in the offseason, can I can I get an invite back? Okay. This go, this, this, after we go on to the playoff game, I'm saying this is the all season want to conversation. Come this is bro. not an all season this is talk. conversation. Talk. It is an all season hey, conversation. Well, we are, season. I already, I just hey, but here's the thing, though. I already tried to switch from him, and we was still going on. Y'all talking all nah, season. Real. I'm done with it. I was done with it on Twitter this morning. <laughs> hey, like, I, just, I just don't see that's the all good. Like, no, it's a point. See, Tuck, it's a point. It's if a we point. open yeah, to point. Kevin mm -hmm. Josephs, yeah, which you said yeah, you was open for, it's a point to improve this team. You gotta also be open just for the conversation of still potentially being an upgrade. Potentially, we know it ain't gonna happen going into this game. Tuck said we know that. Shit, I'm, I'm fucking with him. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm saying this though. Let's all keep our eye on it. Can we at least? Can we at least agree on that? Damn. Can yeah, we agree? Can we agree on Connor? God damn! Can we, can we agree on Connor McGovern over Connor Williams if we find out he's an upgrade, like in the game and he's struggling? Like, I get it, I get it, but I'm just like, I don't understand. <laughs> you just, all right? So you just looking at player for player who's the best player? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, right. That's all okay. we're talking about. Wild calls, it's all about wild just who's better. Player. That's it. It's about okay. and, and this is the reason why we're having this conversation because it's not even just about Lyle versus Steele. I looked at all because what I've been trying to do is I've been okay. What's gonna get us back to them first seven games? That's the whole point of this conversation, Commit which we the all game. then said. Cedric Wilson seems to be better for Dak than Gallup. We are all pretty much right. start agreeing on that. We all agree right. that Jarwin is going to help. You see what I'm saying? So this discussion is not a wasted discussion. It's a it's a discussion that's like. What are we gonna do to get back to that? And what was that formula? We can't have that conversation. We just we just dropped fifty well, some, and dropped some other four. Variables, like, like you said, no, see, back, been back humming. Like, hold on, bro. So you, so so our, so when you say you get, get back, what are, what are we trying to get back? Get back to the run game. Yes, trying to get back to the run to game. Get back to that run game. We trying okay, to get back so to that run game where we led the league. We was fifty three percent of the runs. We led the league, and Dak was an MVP candidate during that period. Well, not giving Tony Pollard three carries will probably help a little bit too. Like, yeah, they gotta stop playing with that. You're right. It's yeah, so it's like, they gotta, they gotta. like he was averaging double digit carries earlier in the first half of the season. Like we were committing to the run. We just abandoned the run as a late. 
I feel like that's how we get back to the run game. I don't feel like it's been the it. reason why the run game hasn't been stable is because of Lyle Collins is in the lineup. I just don't feel that. Me personally. Yeah, but it's been that already said, Listen, we already said that it's not just Lyle. We talked about it being the 12 personnel. We talked about also Connor Williams being inserted back into left guard. It's a whole combination of things. That's that you see what I'm saying? Right. Hell so, yeah. And, so and Tyler I mean, the team was not Tyler the team was not playing. The Tyler the game McGovern was not. Was not I, mean, I, I I I've been I was all on the Connor McGovern train. I still feel like, Me but too. I was saying I felt like he was a better right guard because even when even when they had him in the um the backups, they put Connor McGovern at backup as a backup center and a backup right guard. They were even saying last year they liked him better at right guard, but obviously you're not going to take no Zach Martin spot. You feel me? So you're going to have to play the left side. And he struggled. We all saw it. And we said, hey, you know what? He's been getting hella penalties. But guess what? He was having a career year, and you could see the tape. It wasn't just you could see the tape as far as the numbers were saying it. You could actually watch Connor Williams and saying, he did, there's no reason why you took him out the lineup. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, he got penalties, but, dog, he's been playing good football. There's no reason for you to take him out for even for them penalties. He's playing better. So it was the obvious thing. So I'm glad they did it. My main thing is like this. We got this game. My main thing for the, across the board with the whole offensive line or the offense in general is the physicality. Yeah. That's the main word I've been saying from uh, Sunday all the way up until now. Dallas wins the physicality battle, especially with the offensive line, because I feel like the defensive line is going to do their thing against this uh, offensive line of San Francisco. I feel real good about that. If that offensive line comes to really play all of them, I feel like it's going to be a game where Dallas is going to dominate. But it's got to start up front with that offensive line, because, you know, we've seen Cowboys come out with drives. We like the Cowboys to come out starting hot, fast. We like that that fast start. Dallas, y'all going to be at you going to be at the game, Tuck. Dallas got to start fast and get that crowd all up in it. Yeah. So how do we start fast? We got to dominate that defensive line first. And once they start to get rolling and dominating that trenches, the Cowboys roll. I think Dallas. I think Dak is like 24-2 and two in the red zone in, in Dallas this year. So I like the advantage that the Cowboys have, especially on the defensive side. The main thing is if they handle their business on that offensive line, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get at them Niners. I feel Yo, like – Y'all check this out. Y'all check this out, oh, and then we can we can conclude that debate. Um, y'all listen to this real quick. Tell me what y'all think. And then just run it straight down their throat. Yeah, I'll go ahead and piggyback that right there with another star up. What's, God, what's the name of the player oh, that tried to bribe someone for a tell? What's <laughs> oh, his Collins. name? Oh, Leo Collins. For, I forgot his name because I could care less about him anymore. Mm. Terrence Steele. Yeah, he had a dumb penalty yesterday. Everyone saw that. That was stupid what he did. But everything else in that game was fantastic, especially when it comes to Zeke. Zeke's rushing yards yesterday. Off the left tackle, five yards. Off the left guard, zero yards. Off the right guard, 24 yards. Oh, hi, Zach. Off the right tackle, 79 yards. Man, they kept running it. Every run was to the right. I tweeted that out. Every single one was to the right. I was texting my Giants buddies. I was like, who's your lefty end over there? Uh, no, it, it 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 doesn't matter. Uh, they're all they're all terrible. We don't have any linebackers either. And Broadus tweeted me back. He was a little bit surprised they were going to that side, just uh, trying to pick what defensive back uh, they wanted to go against. But they were running off of Terrence Steele over and mm -hmm. over and over again. And Troy Aikman had pointed this out after the opener against Tampa. The Cowboys have been running fifty eight percent of the time. That's the highest. In the NFL, you know your offense is damn near perfect when your quarterback is the odds-on favorite to win the MVP, which he is in Vegas as of last week. I'll get those numbers this week for you. And then you're running it the most with Zeke and Pollard. Everything is humming. Because you're winning. Right, you're winning all these games and you're you're happy. Yeah, but yesterday they the ran to start. They did. They ran they ran all the time yesterday. Uh you know, they were they were giving them the run. So, that was after the New York game. And all through that period, if we go look through Nick Gen stat, the first games after Tampa when we committed to running the ball, we was, we was running the ball 58% of the time. Number one in the league. And that's when Dak was an MVP and a leading MVP candidate. That's why at least this conversation 
is worthy, right? And it's not just the Giants that happened on. It was also the Chargers. It was also Carolina. It was all it the running backs together, their best games was not just with Steele at right tackle, but it was a combination, in my opinion, of Steele at right tackle, mixed with a commitment to the 12 personnel, you know, and having the right guys out there to help that get that get that ball out. So the whole point of this whole conversation that I think why is smart to even just have this debate, whether they do it or not, is to at least say we got our eyes on it. And we can say, this is likely what had y'all rolling. But don't leave our steel. Don't say the other stuff and be like, but let's not even, you know, that ain't even right. And that's not even true, especially when they broke it down. You can look at it at next gen stats. You can look at it by the data. Most of the yard chunks was coming off of steel, but we got to at least think about it. I'll say this. Like I'll bring it, like I said, like earlier, I'll bring it back to the game with your point. What's the magic number, um, big game, James? What's the what's the magic run number we need for Sunday? Twenty. How many carries? Yeah, twenty to thirty. Twenty carries. And I would throw well, we, I, would I throw like five to get thirty. I would throw five yep. on there for good measure. Or right. ten. So yeah. I'm saying this. Yeah. I agree with your points on the O line, no question. Right. And they need to be slighted and feel get in their feelings like Carl Thomas. Be emotional about the disrespect they got today. Yeah, they got but, some disrespect. Right. They sure yes, did. Yes. No, they need to, they need they, to, they need to take it. it. You know what I'm saying? But I need it to work in concert. So to to your point, I need Collins to play out of his mind. I don't yeah. care if it if it, it need to be for the next four games, but he need to play out of his mind. For this one. And I need them carries. For sure. I need them carries. Because your your point you just made was the the, the the percentage of times we were running the ball. Right. So to your point, it's real on Sunday. It's real, and, and and what what big big was saying physicality. Now I don't I don't subscribe to this whole Dallas needs to act physical. I feel like this is one of the more physical teams I've seen from Dallas in a long time before the Niners showed up. Mm. You know, I don't I don't like how the media been depicting it. That's why I've been highlighting it all week. Oh, I guess we just woke up soft because I ain't seen it. Talking, bro. I've seen us punishing people all year. I ain't confused. Ah, you know what I'm saying. Hold so on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just saying. Perfect. I've been seeing it. Hold on, hold on. I got to give you a button, brother. Hold on. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I've been um. Woo. We've had we've had um we've had moments of injury at some of the worst times. Oh, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But when we've been in our healthy bag. I saw us get extra physical. The Saints is not a not physical team, mm. and we took it to them. Yeah, I seen us. I seen another team that was physical before COVID hit them, which was Washington. Yeah, before I'm, talk, I'm not talking about the second time when we punished them like children. Yes. I'm talking about the first time we played them Ooh. when they had a lot of their players on the field and they were supposed to be physical. And that first quarter and a half, I, I actually got lucky enough to be there in person. I yes. watched the, the D line take the game over. I saw Neville Gallimore. Throw a human into a human. Ooh. I saw it all kinds of craziness. <laughs> so I need a button. This, this whole notion that we're not physical is funny to me. Yoga claim. So I'm looking at. I'm, I'm, I'm correlating that to the run game portion and just saying I already know we physical. Yes. We just get off track because we're trying to. We've had moments where they're like, okay, we got to get passing rhythm. So because in their mind they think we need passing rhythm, they just call it passing plays when they don't need to mm. because in their mind they're like well if the me national media saying we we we, we got a passing rhythm we can't have a game where we run 40 times a game but all that's out the window the playoffs have started we all zero and zero so mm. establish the identity you want to now and i feel like on sunday i would love to see a very physical first half you know and then it, it, it'll, it'll carry us into our second half but we need to let them know we don't need to come out and run. And I want some creative runs too. And I let somebody else go. Right, right. Please don't come out right. and just be like, "We about to run right behind Tyler Bianish for minus one," and then we are gonna run another one behind Connor Williams for minus two. Like, I need some creative runs, but be physical with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, that right. I think that'll set the tone for the day. But please don't. I hate when they just be like, "We're gonna hand it to Zeke with no creativity." 
and just pray that Tyler Beatish whoops um, mm. Armstead. And that's just a dumb idea. Like, that's stupid. You know, be creative. You know what I'm saying? But I'll let someone else go. That's just, I was trying to roll up your point of the offensive line and how they need to be physical. And I feel like you get that magical number of carries, 20 to 25 at bare minimum. We gonna be in good. We gonna be in good business. Cause I think we undefeated when we do that. Let me piggyback on you real quick, bro. Ooh, bro. Listen, y'all. This is my boy Paige, y'all. This is his channel, man. Cowboys fan talk, man. That boy's killing it. Appreciate he's you. Very, man. very professional. Rookie of the year. He's he's organizing <laughs> his production. And when I watch you, Rome, this is the thing that I love about watching your 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 channel, bro. You are so personable with your people. I love that. Like you really make them people feel good, bro. Uh, I, I, you know, you got a, you got a very personable touch on your channel. I like that, man. It's that's something I aspire to be, to just to be all the way transparent. I try to get and glean from all you guys, man. But that's something that I, I definitely like about your channel and just your, your breakdown of the game. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to my boy. Make sure y'all go over there and like his stuff right now. Whatever his last video is, and then y'all come back over there like me and Big Game James is we on stream. <laughs> <laughs> but the hey, piggybacking man, got, on like, what you said, though, piggybacking on what you said on the physicality. <laughs> man, listen, the media put they put such a big rod in our back with all the disrespect they've been giving us wrong. They've they been disrespecting us. They've like, how you gonna call us. a grown man soft? Listen, Good. I'm cool Keep with doing. everybody on this channel. But if I called y'all soft to y'all face, y'all would all fight me. Every one of you. <laughs> all four, all three of you right now will fight me like I'm not cool with y'all if I went up to you and said, you soft. They've been calling us soft. Thank you, media. Thank yeah. you. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, I'm so glad you write Big Game, James. Because I think we getting ready to be super physical to your poor big. D -d -d now, them boys, see, see, at first see, I was everything a, was going to be cool. Everything, everything was going to be cool, cool but boss. now you chirping. I mean, everything, but then you chirping. See, you should just Boy, let the media chirping. talk. You should just let, they chirping you should just because let, of the media. Now they, the media yeah, you got me? Now they feel like the media. They yep, feel 17 yep, and 0. Yep. They yep, feel 17 yep. and 0. They coming yep. at us with equal energy, and y'all barely yeah, squeaked yeah. into the playoffs. Barely squeaked That's in. Cool. Now, now all of a sudden, no, no, no. now like all of a sudden, y'all big dogs. Okay, wait till y'all come Sunday then. Hey, Ooh. listen, listen. Let, look, y'all want to recent. This is this is how this works. This is the NFL is real simple. The the difference between excellent players and some of those marginal players sometimes is is a smaller margin than people think. All you need is that extra little bit of motivation to see yes. you over the edge. Talk. Look at the Colts. Look oh, at the Colts. And look at the Jaguars. Yoga right? flame. The Jaguars are they got a lot to do. A lot to do to become a, a like a prominent organization. But the last week before they played the Colts, you heard a whole bunch of people like, man, <laughs> listen, the, the Colts about to get this win. Jaguars ain't got nobody that can stop Jonathan Taylor. All kinds of craziness. Uh, and then you watch, I don't even know who the Jaguars got on their defense. And all I know is they showed up and they played up. lights out because these still grown men. Yeah. So exactly. the way we get disrespected, like we ain't 12 and man, 5, I, I love it. Thank you. Tom. I love it. We finna hit this Because game. we, look, we might have slept walking to the game. If they, if, put like this, you know Dallas is good with If this week was, um, if this week was a whole bunch of, the 49ers don't got a shot and yeah. the Cowboys is getting pumped up. Yeah. I would be nervous. Yeah. Tall boy, tall. But yeah. it, it's been the, it's been the, like a godsend. They've been telling us that we might as well just forfeit. They laugh. I watched them laugh on TV at us like, Dallas, I don't know what they're going to do with the Niners. I watched somebody on Twitter say, he probably can't pass or run. I was like, what, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Oh man, like Jay it's fun. It's on. like Jay it's Tuck been it's, quiet, man. Let's get Jay Tuck in the game. Jay Tuck, we talk about physicality, man. What's your thoughts? Yeah, we're gonna be physical, man. I feel like we're gonna come out and punch the 49ers in the mouth and we're gonna be ready. So just like Rome said, we've been hearing all the talk and everything going on. Yeah, like, nah, bro. I'm, people keep asking me what I'm doing. What I'm doing right now, I am uploading the raw film of the offensive line play versus Philly, and I want y'all, everyone in the chat. 
Go see it for yourself. I ain't gonna narrate. I ain't gonna edit nothing. Go look at it. Where you putting it at? I'm gonna go. It's look on at Cowboys it. fans only YouTube channel. Now, I'm gonna go look, look, Tuck. You know you be you, me and you yeah. be texting. You be teaching me some stuff because my film game weak. So I'm gonna go look. At I, I, just, I ain't gonna narrate. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. This is all offensive line play. I'm just gonna let it rip. Let people see for themselves. That's the best way to do nothing. it. I wish I'm gonna text both of y'all afterwards. I wish you could cut it up. Like run and pass. But anyway. Uh I'm gonna text right. both of y'all after I look at it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean I mean this is the thing about, you know, and I gotta be open to this. Sometimes there are cases that people can look at the exact same theme, film and see different things. Sometimes right. that happens. Everybody gotta be, you know. Where did that happen sometime? But I'm trying to move off of offensive line. I'm really trying to move off of that. I'm trying to talk about this physicality real quick. Uh, but uh, yeah, so no, I'm excited about the physicality. I'm finna get into this final word because I gotta eat and I'm finna chill. I sure mm -hmm. enjoyed uh, talking to you boys today. And also real quick uh, to get it to just, just to show everybody stuff. My boy, Big Game James. You know, a fire page as well. He got, he just did a show and then just did another show with this, and then we got That's Cowboy all fans early. only. You know what I mean? So everybody in the Cowboys community, man, we got some real fire channels. It's a very competitive environment between all of us, but at the same time, you know, I I love how most of us at least strive to do content and collab. You know, I really like that. You know about the you know community now if you step out of line you know I, I get ignorant but for the most part everybody cool man i love it you know what i'm saying so we finna get into these final words um about the game or whatever it's y'all want to talk about uh i would say kind of what are your things that you think i guess to be san fran or whatever whatever your final <clears throat> words are I can um go ahead, kick it off. That's not a problem. Because uh, okay, I'm, 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 I'm a guest. No, so, let me let Tuck go first. Let, Tuck, let me let yeah, Tuck, Tuck like, like he's steaming. Get your stuff out the way, Tuck, because you over there steaming, bro. Get, get your stuff out the way. Nah, I'm, I'm cool, bro. I, I feel like we got to come out, establish uh, physicality, the line of scrimmage, start with tempo, score first, and uh, stop the run, man, and make uh, Jimmy Garoppolo be a quarterback. And I feel like the Cowboys is going to win this game. And that's pretty much it, man. Like, it, oh. I feel like we at the point oh. we say everything we need to say. So oh, no, like, no, we do, we do got something else. If y'all, unless y'all, unless y'all gotta go, I do want to talk about one more thing. If y'all, unless y'all gotta go, do y'all gotta go? Yeah, I'm mean, good. Do you like? All right, real quick. Um, I saw something on your channel. I want you to talk about it, and I'm gonna piggyback on it. Wrong. You talk about the oh. weakness of San Fran and Jimmy. <laughs> Can you talk about that real it quick? Is. Talk about it real quick, cause I never listened no, to it, but I saw the I saw the title, so I wanted to get your thoughts on that, big dog. It's real easy. Like the first when we first drew San Fran, I started thinking about, okay, what's this week gonna be like? You know what I'm saying? I always love to watch what's going on in the media, what's going on on Twitter, just kind of what's this week gonna be like. So I shot straight over to 49ers Twitter. I started searching names and seeing what people was talking about, and I watched them destroying Jimmy G in the first half of that Rams game. I hate this dude. Why they ain't play Trey? Mm -hmm. Everything like that. And I watched it progress through the evening. And of course, during the comeback, they all got back on the train. Then I watched the next day. I watched Niners fans start talking spicy, which I knew was going to happen because we were natural rivals because of our history. And they just bigging up big Jimmy G. Like, I didn't just watch y'all be super down on him. So we all know what it is. It's this simple. They drafted a quarterback in the first round after trading away multiple assets it don't get much more damn with freight pains faint praise than that you know what i'm saying he did he had a good comeback last week do it again and then do it again because we know that jimmy g's biggest thing is not that he can't make a throw here or there or not that he hasn't had some moments it's consistency and i don't think you can do it again you you ain't gonna do it against my defense mm. that's their biggest weakness they are physical they have a great running game. They got great players with Debo and Nick Bosa and Kittle and Armstead, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, the person that's driving that ship will mess up at any given moment. And I know he'll throw the game to us. And that's their biggest weakness. So they can act like number 10 ain't a weakness all they want to. But I watched y'all virtually bench him on Twitter 
in the middle of that game. We get up by 17, I might as well go home. So we get up by 17, we not letting go of that, that, that. I'm telling you right now, them dogs is coming to eat. We get up by 17, number 10 going to meet number 11. You feel me? Say. That's how I feel. So that's what that video was about. Yeah. Because it's just, it's a lot of fallacies going on with. Ro, I, so I do know they own the Rams. Ro, Ro, hold on. Congratulations. Hold on, Ro, Ro, Ro. They don't own the Cowboys. They own the Rams. Ro, you went <laughs> to their Twitter to watch the them Rams. and get intel <laughs> on them as they was playing Big Dog. <laughs> No, 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 no! I went to their Twitter right after we, right after we, um, right after we drew them. Yeah, I, I start. I, you just, you just type in names. You type in Jimmy Garoppolo or Jimmy G. You can see people talking crazy. That ain't that hard to do. You just go to search. Man, you petty. I love your petty, bro. I love it. Oh, you don't see me arguing with people on Twitter. Don't talk me, Sammy. I mean, <laughs> you so petty. I love it. All right, man. What's your thoughts on Jimmy G? Uh. Uh, at, at, at him being the weakness, uh, whoever Jay Tuck, Big A, whoever want to go, I'll push the button once you start talking. Yeah, I think Big Game dropped a tweet earlier about him doing seven yard drops, like how his quarterback rating drops. So, you know, I feel like we're going to get pressure. They keep talking about their front four. I'm confident in our front four. I feel like Mike is going to have a big day. So is D Law and also Randy Gregory. So, you know, everything that people keep saying we have to worry about, they got to worry about stuff too. And, you know, I just don't understand just because they run the ball and they beat the Rams. Like I said earlier today on Twitter, like, bro, y'all lost to the Cardinals with Colt McCoy. James Conner was Please the only offensive cool. weapon. There was no D hop. There was no AJ Green. You know what I'm saying? So what makes this team so invincible? And the only reason why is because they want to change the narrative because they're playing the Cowboys. So be it. So 49ers fans think they're going to come to AT&T and take over a stadium and tell you all right now, that ain't happening. We're going to be out there. I trust my quarterback. I trust my team. I trust my coaching staff. And when we get this win, I don't want to hear no excuses. That's just where I'm at with it, man. I'm in, I'm in playoff mode right now, bro. Oh, That's man. right, Tuck. No excuses when we get this win. Not one. I don't they want to hear Jimmy still G give excuses. Oh, they're going to come. They they're going to say Jimmy G. Jimmy G. Oh. Jimmy G. Right. Right. Hey, but just like uh, just bouncing off what Tuck said about, you know what, it's a when they said uh, it's a bad matchup for Dallas, it's a bad matchup for y'all too. It's a yeah, bad matchup right. for San Francisco. Right. Y'all, San Francisco, Rams was beating y'all ass on that. Day. You, they was beating y'all, <laughs> beating y'all heads in. You feel me? Y'all act like y'all were running through the league and y'all wasn't doing that. Y'all was getting y'all head smacked. And we all know what Jimmy G is. And we all know when he get pressure. And Dallas give a whole lot of pressure, dog. And you just heard Michael Parsons say, I'm from where bullies bully people. I'm from That's that so spot. Sad. So you heard what he said. You heard that, Boza? You heard that, Boza? He said, y'all y'all play bully ball? Well, I'm from the spot where we bully bullies. You feel me? So I already know we got one guy right there that's coming with that heat. And, bruh, when you got them front four, just like Tuck said, you got D-Law. You got D-Law to deal with. He playing out of his mind right now. You got Randy Gregory's playing in a fresh mind. You got the Gallup Monster in the middle, dog. Mm -hmm. We got a whole rotation of linemen. And we got the deciding factor in Micah Parsons. You don't got that. Okay, mm. y'all don't got no Michael right. Parsons over there. Yeah, y'all got bows and stuff, but y'all ain't got no Parsons, dog. And watch what he about to do to you, dog. We about to get all up in y'all business, and you should have shut up, Boza. That's where you messed up. Should let all that media talk. Boza had to come up and open his mouth. Now you really going to get it, and I can't wait till Sunday. I hope you get no tackles. No pressures, no nothing. I'm going on your Twitter, and I'm saying something on your Twitter. You understand that, Bosa? You hear me? I'm getting all on your Twitter, dog. I'm all on it. I'm on you, dog. I'm putting a whole lot of pressure Man, on you. You're going to get the business because you ain't going to do nothing in that game and none of your Niners. We're going to bust your heads in. Dak, just throw five touchdowns on them again. Just go ahead and get them because I'm ready to get at y'all. Ah, uh, hey, hey, boss. Listen. Boss. Yo. Boss. Yo. Plus that Rams victory, that comeback was over. Who did the Rams just sign? Eric Weddle. So that secondary right. outside yeah. of Ramsey is real sussy right now. Yeah. You just signed Eric right. Weddle to play? You struggling. <laughs> so Jimmy G was dicing up a, a team that just signed Eric Weddle. That, that secondary outside of Ramsey, it's looking real suspect right now. You ain't yeah. going to have that on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah, letting yeah. them know. So I hope yeah. Jimmy G think if he think we didn't we don't need to sign Eric Weddle. Our safety room legit. <laughs> Talk 
Watch when Kurtz bust, watch when Kurtz bust you in your head. Watch when Kurtz bust you in your head. No, no, I feel you. Um, I feel you wrong. I think I think the guy that we got to go after, man, is Garoppolo. Uh, right. I think it's a couple of things. Like, obviously, I think we got to get after them guys with our pass rushes. Uh, they brought you us some stats that basically he's one of the most sacked people in the league, and he's also prone to throw an interception by nine percent of the time, so or by one out of ten throws. So what that tells me is we definitely got to put that ball in the throwing situation. We got to, right? You know, we got to. And I think and you honestly, don't got to blitz them. Yeah, you don't got to blitz them. You honestly, you don't got to blitz them. Man, I think this game, man, we got to shoot, stop the run on first and second down, put them balls first on and second down. Yeah, like, yep. and I think Michael Parsons need to play that linebacker straight up. This is the game that. Cause see, this is one thing we know about San Fran. Everybody talking about physicality, like a little bit of physical, all that little mm-hmm. bull crap. Listen, man, let's put the freak in the middle and put the other guys on the edge and let's get after it. Because, you know, especially on first and second down, you know what I mean? If we, if we get them balls going after them balls on first and second down, stopping the run. Cause if we stop the run, we go put them exactly where we want them. You know what I'm saying? Pen, and I we're think you pin right. our ears back. I think you're right, dog. Hey. I think it's about going after Jimmy G. I think he needs to be the primary target. You know what I mean? That we trying to make him make mistakes because he's prone to make mistakes. Straight up. You know what's the less talk about story? The, yeah. the, 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 the elbow of um, Trent Williams. He didn't even play Trent last Williams. week. Yes. He didn't even play last week. Yeah. So even if he played this week, he ain't 100%. That elbow. I'm telling you, it's not being talked about because the media is so busy causing us so, calling us soft. But that right. elbow is tender right now. I'm letting people know right now. And when you got, when like you got the running. right pass rusher, hey, when you got the right pass rusher that they, they get up on you, if it's if it's RG or if it's if it's Micah who's going to dip under him, I'm telling you, if, if his arm is messed up, that's a big deal. And I know Trent Williams is a beast. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying he ain't 100 percent Trent Williams, which is to our advantage. Yeah, you got to factor mm-hmm. that in, big dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, you ain't told mm-hmm. no lies. All right, final words. Loved it. I I, I really want to talk about that because I saw that on your channel. I was like, because I was feeling the same way, but the way that you went about it was different than what I was thinking. But we both identified him as bullseye number one. They, they acting like he not there. Yo, I can see your quarterback. You can't hide him behind somebody. I can see him. <laughs> right. He trashed. <laughs> like, hey. He trying to hide him. Like, oh, no, don't look at Jimmy G. Look at, look at Kittle or Debo. Now, number 10 got to get the ball every down. Final words. You want to go first? Time? Uh, my right. final word. I'll go. I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let y'all end it. I'm I'm going to let y'all end it. I'm going to let y'all end it. So my final words is just, you know what? It's the time is now. You know what I'm saying? The time is now. Just, right. <clears throat> you got the offensive side. You got the defensive side. We got, I just feel like we got everything we want. We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. It's been, we've had offense for a long time. We haven't had the defense. We hit, it was Garrett. We finally got away from that. You get what I'm saying? So we got away from the Garrett stuff. You got a coach that doesn't have that stuff over him. You got an offense across the board that can be any, anybody on any given day. You got the defense that can stop anybody. The time is now, fellas. The time is now. Like, there ain't no tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen next season. We don't know what's going to happen with players, injuries, coaches, nothing. So every every coach says this, everybody who's played the game. These opportunities are far and few. Dak Prescott has kept on saying, if y'all been listening, Dak Prescott keeps on saying, the opportunities are far and fruit. This has got, this is a special type year. We got to go in there and handle our business. So I just feel like, the time is now. That just keeps on resonating in my head. The time is now. There's no reason why Dallas can't get six this year. There's no reason why Dallas can't get six this year. We slaying dragons. And let's say it right Ooh. now. We slaying the Niners dragon today. We slay we on Sunday. We slaying that dragon. I want the Aaron Rodgers dragon. If we can have him, I want the Aaron Rodgers dragon. If Tom Brady get in the way, I want that dragon too. I want your dra- I want him. And when we get to the Super Bowl, I want the Chiefs dragon. 
because I want Pat Mahomes. So them is four dragons that I want to slay all the way around. Because if we have hey, – hey, fellas, if we beat all them teams, I don't care what the hell they say. They can't say nothing about going and beating all them boys. That's a that's a Dirk-like run, man. That's that's Dirk-like, man. You feel me? <laughs> that's Dirk <laughs> 2007. That's yeah, a that run. Is. They that's can't a say nothing about us. If we, if we go yeah. through that, fellas, Yo got we, fire. we, we going to be – we're going to be sticking that chest out real high like, what? We bashed out all them those top teams. I feel like after we punch the 49ers, this is going to be the thing that really makes this team scary. Like, I feel like they confidence going to yep. take a huge boost because it's that physical. We've been hearing mm -hmm. physical, physical, physical. If we come out there and punch them in the mouth and let's say we 20 ball them or 30 ball them, mm -hmm. it's going to get scary, man. I can so, see that, too. Hey, Cowboys Nation, yeah. whether you at home, you at the stadium, wherever you at, it's oh, time to ride, man. So I'm ready. <laughs> Final words, fellas. Well, I know Tuck will have a ball in that game, man. I'm jealous. He's going to be trying. tearing them drinks up. He's going to be tearing them drinks I'll, up. <laughs> fly, fly out. Fly out. Final Five word. Man. I'm ready to get there. Final so, word. I'm, I'm go Final word. Hey, good, hey, let's do it. Let's, just, let's go win, Cowboys Nation. That's it. That's all I got to say. It's playoff time. Um, Final word real quick. Um. I'm gonna just speak to because I know I know. Look, I know players watch y'all show, so so I'm gonna say this like this: Dak, Zeke, um, Lyle Collins, um, Zach Martin, Ty Smith, um, even Leighton Van Der Esch, Everybody that was there in 2018, D. Law. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And y'all thought after we had that run in 2018, you was like, we'd be right back next year. And y'all see how long y'all got? It took y'all to get back. Realized that, like you said, Big Game James, these moments don't come every day. You know what I'm saying? You got the talent. You got the health on your side. Now go put it to action. You know what I'm saying? I don't even got to say nothing about y'all being physical. Like I said, I already know y'all going to be physical. But don't take this for granted. Lead by example because you was there in 2018. And just like that, it took three years to get back. So don't take this don't take this, this game sweet and just go out there and leave it on the field. Yeah. And so, as man, thank you, Rome. I think um, as my final word, I think this game is gonna come down to pressure. I can even see us blowing them out, honestly. I really think, I can see us blowing them out because I think the environment has been set for us to have a lot of motivation. I think we're extremely fresh. I think we have been truly holding back. Like Mike McCarthy talked about that he had Neville Gallimore on a pitch count. He don't gotta be on no pitch count no more. Now you can right. let him free. Now you can let all the dogs free. See, because we all know, Big Game James said this Tuesday on the final road word, that uh, Shanahan is going to throw the kitchen sink at us. I think we need to have that same mentality. I think we need to throw the whole kitchen sink back at them. We need to be aggressive right. on everything, trick plays, uh, flea flickers, everything. Like, act oh, like this the Super this. Bowl. <laughs> act like this the Super Bowl. I think uh, it's going to come down also to Michael Parsons. He is the number one guy in the league at QB hits. I think that's a perfect combination to a guy that's fragile that doesn't protect the football. So it's one of those things to where our stars got to be stars. I think we go play like stars. Uh, but I think it's also going to be what Jay Tuck said. I think it's going to be the true awakening of who we are. And I can really see that happening to where this win against a true rival, because Philly is not our rival. Philly is not our rival. <laughs> right. But they San Fran is our rival. That we that. Yeah, San Fran is That's our, our rival. Children. Yeah. Right. See, this is, this is, you know, I hate San Fran, but I respect them. They got just as many rings right. as us. You know what I mean? And right. they got the- They can talk the talk. They can talk the talk, yeah. right? You know, they, they the yeah. people that, they can come with to us with equal energy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things to where this game means so much and it showed with the ticket sales. The moment they, mm -hmm. they said it was gonna be San Fran, what happened to what happened? You lost it. Spike. <laughs> Spike. Stand, stand room only, standard room only tickets went from $58 to now 217. <laughs> For standing, <laughs> to stand. Yeah, like I wish hey, I would have hey, known. You know how a whole bunch of them. You hey. <laughs> You would flip it. Hey, you know when they I, open up them doors? Know. You know when Cowboys they first Nation open up like them doors and everybody running in? 
Yeah, that's you know, like, oh, it's going to be a open up some, No, some people yeah. might get trampled up in there because they really yeah, going to yeah. be Bring your running shoes. Bring your running shoes because people going to be in there moving. Yeah, hey, they're gonna be uh, moving. So. All of us play tuck, football tuck, too. Tuck walking slow though, because he got the. I seen that special entrance. Yeah. I seen it. Got a private entrance. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I managed. Hey, you know you know we we gonna catch up one day, Tuck. Stuff, one day we go get on that level, old Tucko. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I need to get on that level. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm going man, with man, a man, they greet they greet me you know what I'm saying wait 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 say hello Tuck how you doing today how you doing your arrival what really really hey look man when you said you saw Jamie Foxx I was mad that's right when you said you saw Jamie Foxx I was like taking shots with Jamie Foxx at Thanksgiving man so you know I'm gonna go with you one these years that's why y'all see me up at 4 a.m. Man, hard work pays off. <laughs> it does, it does. But yeah, man. So just you know, as a final word, man, um, I'm already starting to feel those pre-game butterflies. Y'all remember the yeah, pre-game right. butterflies? This I is one of those Monday, games bro. you go feel butterflies up the kickoff. Right, man. You feel me, big? <laughs> you feel me? No, when that game start, oh, when that game, oh. like Sunday, when I wake up, it's oh. going to be so, like, I can't eat. I can't, I can't do nothing. Eat. Like, yeah. I'm, I can't function. Right. Like, this going to be like the kid in the candy store again. Like, hurry up, game. Hurry up. When I hear that crowd, only thing I'm going to miss is listen to a John Madden Pat Summerall open it up and say, right. and guess, you know what I'm saying? Y'all Yo remember got when players. the players – when them Niners and Cowboys open and John Madden and Pat Summerall, you know it. Know it. It's going to be a We came out with them jerseys with the big stars on it, man. I swear I cried at that stadium. <laughs> oh, dog. Yeah, man, man. Uh, that is nasty. Because I know they yeah, wiped it out. But when they got star. them stars, them stars well, are beasty, dog. I'll when they got them stars, dog. Hey, I bet you one thing, y'all. Y'all don't, feel, y'all don't feel how we felt when Garrett was the coach. Tall. Man, oh, Tall. my God. Uh, See, you ain't going to start the show off. This is going to be the final word. And you going to start the show all bro. over. You see how Rob do it? Yeah, right. Rob just start the like, show <laughs> all the way over. This is supposed to be the final word. Rob like, no, nah, we got I'm just saying, man. Like, we, got I don't feel that like, don't, we, don't we feel like we got a chance? Don't we feel what? like we Yo, got a chance? Yo, I used to feel like, man, how we going to mess this up? It is different. Yeah. I feel like we got a chance now because when it went Garrett, I was like, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. They, What'd you say, Tuck? We was with Garrett. It was like, yeah, Garrett, too physical. They got Shanahan. What we, you know, I, I don't know about you know. Right, like, right. Like, like, nah, I, I, you know, I trust Mike, man. You know, you know, Mike got some moves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We hit, we hit him with that fake, that fake punt or something. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, man. I'm ready, man. Mike might break that water down the back of like me, 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 media Tuck's been gone, man. Like this is this is super fan Tuck, man. I'm just, I don't, hey, I'm just ready to turn up, bro. Like. That's where I'm at. That boy say media took gone. All right. Bro, I told y'all. I'm on fan mode. (laughs) I'm still working, bro. I'm still working. A lot of young people don't understand. Like, this is like tucked with the trapper keeper. Paul. Like, this is why I'm a fan. Like, when I think of Dallas Cowboys football, I think Cowboys 49ers. You know what I'm saying? Morton Hanks, as I mentioned earlier. Like, I couldn't stand that, man. Like, because we supposed that bit on the fighter word, but y'all might oh, be okay. off the fighter word. No, 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 no. I like this. Sorry, <laughs> boss. Because Jay Tuck said something that I feel so that I love what he said. And uh, listen, y'all. I because I get this sometimes. I get people um they'll come to my my uh they'll go to the comment section and they'll say, boss, why you grunt? Why do you get so excited? You need to be professional. You ever get that? Yeah. And it's like, bro, it's what Jay Tuck said. It's like, first, we fans, man. I'm fans, man. Yeah. I'm fans. a fan, bro. <laughs> first, right. We do podcasting on the side, but right. Like how Jay Tuck is saying, I feel that so much that it's like, like, bro. Like sometimes you want to put the mic down. You want to put the mic down and just right. go back to the days of how we used to be. But we can't. You know, fan we I on a mission. I went got a. Hey, I went hey, got a boss. shirt made because I can't go to the stadium. I went got a white shirt made 
Because I can't right. go to the and White House. And it's hot. That's the type that, of fan that I am. That is banging. I see. Oh, it. I saw I that white it. shirt. Let banging. me go pull up that it's white crispy. shirt. I will pull I it up. Wanna, yeah, I pull it exactly up. I know exactly what you're talking about, dog. You, you motivated. I was like, I want that, too. I'm going to go buy me a shirt. Bro, I got I got to. I can't be there. I can't be there, so I had to find everybody, out. Uh, everybody there, shirt, man. That's the thing. Everybody there, bro. Everybody. If you a Cowboys fan, you were there, bro. Like, you know what I'm so saying? Wearing like, my that's white what I'm shirt. talking about. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, the hat. That, that, that is crispy. That is crispy as that's crispy as hell, dog. Crispy. That's crispy as hell. I'm right, right on my couch. I'm be. I'll be with y'all. Sit right on my couch. Yeah, you're you laid out like the first hey. day of school, man. <laughs> you'll be laid oh, out. Y'all laid it right on my bed. Yeah. Hey, right hey, boss. Yo, hey, boss. Yo, you already know. Hey, you remember how you just said we fans first, and you, people say you gotta be professional. I told yep. you last week I was unprofessional, and Facebook blocked me because I was in fan mode. Yep. Usually I'll be talking all nice. Mode. It was, it was f this, f that to <laughs> every Eagles fan alive. It was a whole bunch of STFUs all, all the whole channel. F all y'all. We right. own y'all. Had to bring out real facts. And they you blocked me on though. Facebook. That's all right. That's all right. Because I told y'all all the truth. You can block me on Facebook for the week. But I told you the truth. And just like Tuck right. just said, I'm been in fan mode. And once we beat the brakes off of y'all Sunday, I'm going to be in super fan mode because I'm going to go super ham. Fan mode, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, after we win that game, I'm wearing that shirt every game. Until it's <laughs> stank. Make it stank, big dog. Wear, look, it's gonna be it's gonna be light tan at the end of the playoff. <laughs> <laughs> that boy said it's gonna be light tan. Hey, real quick, man, let these people know where they can find you, big dog. Hey man, look, um Cowboys Fan Talk on YouTube, Cowboys underscore fan talk on Twitter. Hey man, and you, look, you see it in the name, Cowboys Fan Talk. So it, it might not be as technical as you want, but you're going to get a real fan when you come over there. Show sure is. Fire. Oh, oh, God, dog. My bad. Uh, uh, Jay Tuck, let me get my boy right before he can introduce himself. Where can yeah, find yeah. Me, so, uh, Cowboys fans only, you know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate all the, you know what I'm saying, the Cowboys Nation for riding with your boy. Appreciate the community content. Like these guys are my brothers, man. We argue okay. back and forth. Y'all think so? People like, oh, you and Boss was arguing about Steele and Collins. Me and West Coast, we had this whole argument on Monday. So it's, it's like, real. You know what I'm it's, it's, it's a real it's, argument it's, too. It's, 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 I can't stand you right now, Tuck. You make me sick. Yeah, bro, you have me hot. I'm gonna call you after <laughs> <back> later. <laughs> I'm gonna call you. You know what I'm saying? But and that's what it's I love passion, most, bro. man. It's about the brotherhood, man. It's and brotherhood. Us all coming together, giving out great content. We see it from different angles. But yeah, Cowboys fans only on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at jtuck151. And y'all like the merch, Cowboys fans only. Uh, dot com. And get get your drip, man. So I appreciate it. Yes, sir. And go, and, go, and go watch that video that's dropped in the offensive line versus the Eagles. Yeah, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Look. It's all right. Look. No, you can't do that. See, he, see, listen, he tried. Listen, listen like, like, I ain't, like I ain't ready for that. Listen, yeah, like yeah. I ain't ready for that. Hey, dog, what you yeah, talking about, boy? You know what I'm saying? You, be, you behind the keys right now. You know what I'm saying? You're at home. Hey, hey man, I was waiting on you to do you, that. Man. As soon as you did no, that, man, you, you think man. I ain't finna show my boy Steel right now, big dog? Hey, you, hey, I'm, look, I'm about to go on the lab too like okay that's oh what you want to go on the lab <laughs> let's get in this lab let's get that's in this lab do, all dog. right i'm gonna go to all right well, then, then i'm gonna Shoot. do that too man, oh, let's get man. in this lab let's watch steel push these balls man <laughs> <laughs> Yo, OC hey, bad man, OC would have been in this conversation hey, oh my god OC, hey, y'all y'all really lucky. went hard Hey, Look but y'all just want to tell y'all, man, I appreciate everybody that was on the panel. I appreciate, you know, Rome, you I like the rookie of the year. You know what I'm saying? I hit you up early this appreciate morning. You, we man. have been talking back and forth to do the the uh, video. And then I hit up Tuck because I was like, well, damn, I hit up Rome. I was like, well, shit, I want Tuck on here, too. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was like, let's just make it a whole shing thing. So, so I did. just really appreciate that y'all uh, basically. And then I hit up Boss like, hey, man, let's just make this whole thing happen. And I'm glad it just happened the way it did. I had a great time with y'all. Both Love of y'all, all yes, three sir. of y'all is doing the damn thing in the community. I always listening to y'all tweets, watching y'all tweets, watching what y'all say, watch y'all videos, always listening to y'all to try to learn something. So I just want to tell you, I'm forever grateful for the Cowboys community and everybody on this uh, this show, man, because y'all really killing it. And y'all always insp inspiring me to always be great. You feel me? 
It's, uh, it's, it's right. we push, push each other, and I think that's a good other, thing. Yep. We push each other to yeah. be great. We yeah. push each other not to bring out weak content because when we have these conversations, right. what does it do? It makes us get even tighter in the lab. Right. It makes us watch even better. Right. So this makes us even better. So this is not a bad thing. This is a it's great thing that. because this strives for us to be together, right. and there ain't no personal stuff in it. So this makes it a great right. thing. So I really appreciate all y'all. I just want to tell y'all that. Yo got fire. Hmm, 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 man. So, I really, 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 really do love that thumbnail, cause I love these dudes, man. Like, yeah, men tuck went at it, too. But that's how we are, you know, in private right. or in public, man. It's a passionate thing, uh, and you want to see that. You want to see people that's passionate about ideas that you think will make us win. And sometimes you gotta fight the homies. But see, this is the beautiful thing. Right. We fought the right way, you know what I'm saying? It's not about getting personal. It's about really standing on what you believe until you prove it wrong and then having the humility to, to come around. Uh, like Kyle Pitts. <clears throat> another, <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> what you mean? See, see, watch this. Watch My this. Bad. No, 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 no watch, this. Like watch this. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I take an L on Kyle Pitts. I take an L on Cal Pitts. I, I didn't think he was going to get 1,000 yards. And I openly uh, say that he performed better than I expected. Uh, and I had no problem with that. I got it wrong. Right. Just the wrong That's place. what it's all about. Story, yeah, man. I got it wrong. It was, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, you know. Who um, imagine that 12 formation? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. Man. I want to trade Mike now. But people are saying, all Mike. we do is take each other to homework. Man, we're supposed like, to be getting off the show. Oh, my bad. Because every I, time I, I start I, trying I, to get him to fight the word, I'm, I'm trying to do the You goddamn yeah. cowboy content people. You can do this all night. Nerves. Nerves. We can talk this all night. Because I swear to God, y'all can talk all night. night. God damn. I was even project, trying to say you was right, J. Tuck. I was even trying to give you credit, dog. I can't give you credit, my dog. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dog, I'm trying to say you was right. I can't even finish my thought. Yeah, but. <laughs> no, but uh, and I tell you what, and, 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 and I mean this too. I think tight end is my weakness. I'll be honest. I think tight end. I need to go do. I gotta. That's my James. You know I'm not bullshitting when I say this. <laughs> Listen, tight end. I'm gonna do better this year, bro. Cause I take pride in. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm serious, bro. I take. You know me, big. I take pride in, like really being able to stand independent. If I believe what I think I see is true, you know what I'm saying, and I got that right. wrong, and it's like Tuck boss, you got to do better, dog. You gotta, you gotta. Tuck get almost got me in my drafting bag. I saw you the other day, Tuck. I almost hey, did hey, it. My draft was Man, y'all not finna my, do this. Y'all do my this. My little cigarette that I flicked out the this. window. Every PFF, everyone. Oh, I already, what if we were I already see what I gotta do with these motherfuckers. <laughs> I see what I gotta do with these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers. I can't even finish nothing. I can't say nothing. I gotta hit a you button on these motherfuckers. God damn, these boys got me cussing getting up out of here, man. I've been trying to be a good old saint. And these boys, I swear to God, these boys. Y'all like preachers up in here. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. God, hey, man. Oh, man. I mean, it's, it's Jay, like like Easter big. Sunday, I'm man. not lying, bro. I'm not <laughs> lying, bro. I was really trying to fit. I said, I got to just hit the button. That's hey. That's all right, so that was that was just to take control. That was I just want to take back control of my fighter word. <laughs> that wasn't the real exit. This is what I want to say to uh, Big Game James. No, I'm telling the truth when I say this. Uh, I had a car accident yesterday. Um, oh damn! Yeah, I had a and um, a lady ran a red light. It was a split second, and it could have been real bad. Uh, so I'm Ooh. very thankful to even be sitting right here with you guys, number one. Number two, that's what gave me my time to be able to build this show. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jay Tuck, no, because he's a guy that has what we call the Infinity Stones. He called it. He named it. He coined it that, where he really puts a lot of work in his production. But it take hours. But I'm actually thankful I had that car accident, because if I didn't, when Big Game called me, I wouldn't have had time to build this whole thing with you guys in here. You know what I'm saying? Like this. Because you know, Tuck, it take a while to, when you build it from scratch. Do, right. You got this is the good news, the and this is what I want to say. For everybody that like how we got down today, 
now both of them are built into this permanently. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just a matter of us being able to coordinate to just make this happen when we can make this happen. I sure enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, yeah, and, you, know. you know, we had the OC supposed to have been on deck, but he couldn't make it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I already had him ready to go, but, you know, but he couldn't make it. But, you know, you guys, y'all got an open door, bro. I mean that. Big, you feel me on that? Oh, I bet I feel it. That's why, like I said, that's why I had I, me and Rome did a show like a year ago. You feel me? Like yeah. when he was really just kind of just first starting out. And I said, damn, that must sucker for real the rookie of the year. Cause I remember when he was <laughs> right. really starting. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's just dope to see it from there to now. Tuck. It just you know because i met tuck through kind of through steel and then me and tuck got cool so like i said man i just really like listen to what y'all saying it's a good thing to finally be able to all of us get together and do it together you know what i'm saying and like you said right. it's always there for us so whenever something now. pops off big we can always just jump in yeah, there and say we can hey jump in let's now. pop off a show yeah. right quick yeah and let's get it cracking I'm, and then hey, and, and i know i'm always right ready so, yeah yeah that's and a we go thing, obviously so. respect and I've really been, we've been talking about this for a minute. Me and Rome been talking about this. We had a, you know, but now it's done. Y'all built in. And I really want to say that, man, because the final word, people know the final word as Law, Big, and myself. But we been, Big, Law, and the OC, man, like, we need to rock with Rome and Tuck. How long we been saying that, bro? We been talking about we be like, man, we need to get these motherfuckers on the show. They go hard. <laughs> Them great. balls go hard, man. Hey, as so, Tuck, appreciate it, man. me and Tuck talk all the time. We just don't talk on Twitter that's all the time. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if the viewers <laughs> knew the type of content they miss out behind the scenes on the yeah. phone, like, right, we, right, you know, right, right, that. right. Yeah, we just be right. in the lab talking, kicking around our ideas. I'm like, no, nah, I don't like that. Yeah, right. but let me take that and sprinkle right, it. Yep. So it's all yep. love. Yep. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Like and took, a, and took an early bird too, so we be texting them be dumb early. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. Four a.m. Yep. I'm also already right know we be hitting as, as soon as we hear something. I'll be up like, early hey, too. I mean to bother you, well, but yep. Oh hell yeah! Right. <laughs> early yeah. bird gets the worm. Early bird get the worm. Right. But yeah, man. So right. if everybody loved this, you know, y'all go see this again. I'm so glad that we now got these guys built into their own platform. Uh, you know, and then we go see what because see, this is how big and I started. Big and I started, and the final word started from what Waffle House, bro. It started from little stuff like this to where we do a show, everybody show that chemistry. We all get down, we fight, we hug, we do everything it takes to win. You know, fire, you yoga, know, um, flame. But then it continues, and I think you know, the fans want to see this, man. So I just want to kind of put that out there, man. I'm excited about what everybody getting ready to do in their futures, individually as well as corporate. So let's keep rocking. Yes, sir. We got a lot of football left. A lot of oh, football. Yeah, we got like time for that talk. chip, baby. Yeah, it's time for the chip, man. Like for real, this is the Ooh, time. Dog. Show. I, we need to that's get sick. Show. It, man, oh my God, that Super Bowl show gonna hit a hundred k. Hey, Super Bowl show gonna hit hundred k. We gonna be rich on that show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been thinking it needs to be a super content show. It needs to. Oh, it should have I all of us. I will produce that thing. I show sure will. Yeah. I will produce that thing. J Tuck, you can chill, Doc. I got you. Oh, yeah, you got it, bro. You How you feel to chill today, big to homie? You was able to chill. You didn't have to drive. It feels good. Hey, man. that that. Yeah. For real, if we win the Super Bowl, like all the content creators like got to just get together and just do like a, a 20 page man show or something like that. Cause I don't care. We just gotta be yelling. I'm gonna be screaming, yelling. Cause I said, right. I asked the football guys before I die, I just wanna get six. I asked the football guys before I die, please. I got to see a lot of these. Can I get six before I die? This might be in the year. Please, please, right. please. Hey, support these dudes, man. Support everybody, man. Y'all support them, man, with the cash apps, the super chats, man. Hit them likes every time. Make it a habit that every time you go on somebody's channel like these guys, hit that like. Get these guys recommended. Get me recommended. But, hey, man, that was the final one.